to hello ah, everybody and a welcome to the HD podcast experience i'm not that wasn't shtick i just finished drinking coffee and i apologize to everybody who had to hear that at the top of the show of all places this is as you know the number one place for news viral hits and weekly gaffes mm. if you want to know what's going on in the world if you want to have a couple of laughs while you're at it also viral hits this is the number one place mm. to come and enjoy those three things right ila i guess well you number weren't one? i think it's number it's for gaffes Okay. For weekly gaffes? Who else is doing weekly gaffes? Nobody. <laughs> you know? there's That's it. Um, guys, keep it up on the iTunes chart. Smash that review mm-hmm. button because, look, it's kind of embarrassing. We, I know most of our views are on YouTube. And they're very good. I'm very proud and happy with the... But, I mean, we're we're slacking on the iTunes charts, and it's kind of embarrassing. Mm-hmm. Because if I'm Foopish Maximus, if I'm Lord Foopish Maximus, and I'm not even in the top 100 chart, and I know nobody even listens on audio, maybe some people, it's a very visual podcast. It's more of a show, really. Mm-hmm. Because we watch stuff, and I'm not very good at yeah, catering to audio. the definition of a podcast. Well, traditionally, a podcast is just audio. Okay. It's it's something so that it's you listen. Not a podcast. So really, I mean, I guess it's not <laughs> it's really, a is it? Podcast on the wall. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, let's look up the definition. What is Doesn't a podcast? Doesn't that contradict? We have podcasts on the wall. Podcast is yeah. just audio. Why? Well, here, let me let me. Uh, oh, here's the definition: a digital audio file made available <laughs> on the internet for downloading to a computer or mobile device. Huh. So, well, we do have a digital audio file. If you are listening, mm. but it, but you're really listening to an, the audio of a video. This is a video. You know, like, when you're making a podcast, you're not, you're not talking about... I, I depend a lot on, vi- on visual right. elements when I'm watching. And I'm not, very, I'm not very good at catering to audio listeners. But we that, didn't really think this through, did we, when we started this podcast? No, it's really a show. But people know what a podcast is. If you go to a sponsor and you're like, "We've got a new show," <laughs> they're like, like, "Hold a on," podcast, they're like, "Hold on." Not... Yeah, exactly. A show? Oh, it's on television? No, it's on the internet. Is it a podcast? Well, sort of. Kind of. Uh, we'll think about it. We'll skip. Yeah, cut. Give us a call back later. We only. You know what? Can we call it a pod show? A pod show. You know, we had a lot of trouble getting sponsors on this show because. Um, a lot of these agencies that do advertising on podcasts, they only count the downloads, downloads, yeah. streams, audio streams. I'm like, why? Yeah, it's so crazy because I just had a conversation with one of our friends. Oh, really? Who podcast and their sponsors only count the downloads. It's fucking insane. And they also do a lot of views on YouTube. That's very well, strange. It's like, okay, I can do a read on YouTube. It has a visual element. You can see the link and you can click the link. It's in the description. And yeah. I can show you things. It's way, it's way better. <laughs> like, who's going to go from... Li- when you're listening to a podcast, you're on you're your driving. phone, you're driving. Who the fuck is going to... What am I going to pull over? Oh, let me go over to stamps.com. Let me pull over. <laughs> No, we don't count uh, views. So we didn't work with any of those agencies. Somebody recently came to me. They wanted me to promote a new Netflix special. And they're asking me the rate. And I said, well, here's the rate. And he says, okay, well, we don't count uh, YouTube views, only downloads. I was like, well, fucking call someone else. <laughs> you called it. You called. Do you know? <laughs> we are a YouTube show probably. Like 90% first. of our views are... If anyone is, then we are. Oh, it's crazy. <laughs> I was like, well, you want to work work with someone else. <laughs> and also, you may want to change your rules because it, because this is actually 2019. <laughs> I can't believe it. It's so strange. I guess it's just like it's a bunch of old people. Mm-hmm. And they know one thing. They know downloads and they understand how to measure it. <laughs> and once you talk to them about something else, it's, oh, it's overwhelming. It's too much. You're like, well, actually, you can see me. On YouTube as well as hear me and there's a clickable link <laughs> yeah no but uh, download only download sorry you guys <clears throat> okay 
Well, a lot of podcasters cut out the ads. They don't even put them on YouTube because it's like, what's the point? Mm-hmm. Which is like, it's such a disservice to the sponsor. Anyway. It's weird. That's that. Did uh, we actually thank our sponsors today? No. So I'm so worked up. <laughs> thank you to the sponsors that actually know what the fuck's going on here. Captera and DoorDash. You'll be getting some visual aids and lots of song and dances <laughs> and even a clickable link in the description. You, you know, it's crazy technology. <laughs> yeah, c- click a fucking link. All right, I'm all worked up, Ela. It's way too early in the show to be getting this worked up. I know. I'm I'm still sleeping. So. Well, I've got a bone to pick with you. Yeah. Why? Okay. There's a pic. Theodore, our child, two month old, almost has a shirt that says <laughs> Team Mommy. Okay, and I didn't buy that shirt. We got it as a gift. Well, regardless, I'm like, what is this propaganda? <laughs> Team Mommy. You know? I know. This is bullshit. I'm holding it. I hey, didn't do I'm it. I'm holding him. I'm taking care of him. I'm feeding him. Oh, and I, and I got to look at this Team Mommy t-shirt. Wasn't me. Yeah, right. You joyfully put that on him every time. <laughs> Team Mommy. Mm-hmm. Where's the Team Daddy shirt? They don't make Team Daddy shirts. Look. Us mommies yes. were pregnant yes. and delivered the boy. Mm-hmm. So we get, we we have credit for like, for life, you know? It's propaganda. <laughs> team mommy. It's team mommy for life. <sighs> That's true. <laughs> yeah. Nobody likes dads. He likes you. Nobody I likes dads. I saw dad, this morning, he, he smiled at you. Yeah, I didn't get a smile this he morning. He gave me a big smile. It was very cute. <laughs> You just walked into his vision and you smiled. That's true. He did do that. <laughs> that was a beautiful that was moment. Cool. <laughs> I mean, he's just starting to learn how to smile. Yeah. So like, so cute. <laughs> he's 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 gonna smile a couple times a day. Mm-hmm. He's testing it out. He's Usually starting. in the morning, he's very aware and awake. So the baby smile cool. is so pure. It's like, and they smile so bright and so beautifully. Yeah, it's like, and it's like, like so mouth. expressive. <laughs> it's incredible. The baby smile. It's something else. At first, he was smiling from his sleep. Like, he kind of, mm-hmm. when he would fall asleep, he would kind of smile. Mm-hmm. And I noticed the first times I saw him smile, even though I knew he was sleeping and not even looking at me, I immediately smiled back. It's like I couldn't even control it. You oh, just because like, it's just. It's so. It's a beautiful thing. Yeah. To hold. <laughs> and also about emotional. the baby smile is that. It's the first time you see, well, first of all, your child smiling at you is just so endearing. But mm-hmm. and, and uh, but it's the first time you see your child as, like, a human being, right. in a sense, because for the first two months, they're just, it's tough, man. It's you, just survival. It's just survival. <laughs> There's not really bonding there. It, mm-hmm. You're just taking care of a crying, shitting, uh, pissing, eating machine. The, at first, also, you really don't know him, so you can't tell what he needs or what he's crying about. <clears throat> I feel like now we kind of can tell the difference between his different crying mm-hmm. modes. There's like mm-hmm. a cry because he's tired or because he's hungry. Yeah. And it takes time to know him. That's another thing that people don't, that's hard to expect or to explain is that when your baby is born, you guys are strangers. Yeah. It, there's not like... I don't know. I feel like that that this is a bit of a myth that you have this immediate bond with your child. No. Because the baby comes out and he, you guys are strangers. You don't know each other. You've just met. Also, you're like just, you're after labor. You're after nine months of pregnancy. You're going through so much and you're like, you need to recover yourself. Mm-hmm. You're barely yourself even. Mm-hmm. You're tired. You're, yeah. You need to heal. Yeah. And then you have to take care of this creature too. So... It's a lot of things together. It's not really like, ooh, perfect bonding time. No, not at all. Yeah, it, t- it takes a while before you can start feeling like you know your child or that you... That even is your child for, you know, mm-hmm. it's a, it's like, you, it's, a, it's surreal to even be like, oh, this is my son. Yeah. Because it just feels like you're taking care of a baby. It's, I, f- I still don't really feel like, it's just still surreal. It's so new to me. I'm starting to that have it's like, this, this is my son. No. You know. I'm starting to feel it, like. But, but with, it, it comes and goes. It's like. Yeah. Yeah. 
Um, but when he smiles at me, you see <laughs> that human side of him starting to develop the personality that there's a mm-hmm. spark of life, you know, inside of him brewing. A personality is growing. Yeah. And he starts to um, see you and, and acknowledge you as a human being. He, he knows you're there and he's smiling at you. So and it's like, what does it mean to the smile? Like, what does he? What does it like? If does he find you funny? Like, what's funny to him? You know, he's happy. I know it's, but it just makes me think, like, what is going on inside his head? I think what happens is, well, for the first last like month, he's been, like you said, when he falls asleep, he starts smiling in his sleep. You know, when you, they say when you sleep is when you do most learning and memorizing. So mm-hmm. he recognizes, he sees us smiling and laughing and so for whatever reason that's one of the first things babies learn to do is smile and laugh and so every time he goes to sleep his little mind is working on figuring out how to do that and first couple of times he does it it's cute but there's he's actually just going through the motion yeah but now he's actually expressing mm-hmm. joy yeah <laughs> that is be- a beautiful thing but it's it's yeah, it's been so wild, man. Just sleepy. It's weird. It's all weird. <laughs> it's still all a blur. Yeah, totally. No, it's all a blur. Because, I mean, just two months ago, we didn't have a fucking baby. And now, yeah. we've got a baby. That moment at the hospital seems like years ago. Yeah, distant memory. <laughs> well, you keep saying, and you're right, the whole pregnancy thing is like nothing. Because you fear about, you have this big anxiety about the, when you have give birth. But what follows is like I was just talking the real to shit. Christina P, who's also a mom, mm-hmm. and she started a mommy podcast. And that's she talks a lot about this stuff because it's like no one talks about it. And I feel like we both felt like everyone, like they don't want to talk about it. And there's like when I went to see the doctor uh, for a checkup afterwards, they were like, oh, yeah, this is the fourth trimester. This is the real hard mm shit and i was thinking like why all of a sudden i'm hearing it when i'm going for a follow-up no one ever talked to me about what happens after the birth like right. that is the real that's, that's what when you it need gets preparation hard. for yeah fuck the uh morning sickness everyone and is, the epidural and all this shit that's easy you everyone just was it. focusing so much about like am i prepared for delivery what are my plans for delivery did i breathe. watch did i go to courses that's just so stupid it just it happens you've got a yeah. million doctors and also you it can't just you can't really plan so much because at the end of the day whatever happens happens and you gotta go with it exactly you know there, you, you have no plan. control it just happens yeah yeah you have to just go with it at the end of the day but you know what's the real challenge when you've got a baby that's been crying for 20 hours straight, screaming and you have in no your fucking idea face, what to do. Screaming in your fucking face, and you are losing your mind. That's the real shit. Mm-hmm. There's been a couple of times where I've just been like, I'm holding Theodore. He is cry. He's screaming. You know, yeah. the first couple of nights were just, and and I'm like, I'm so frustrated because I'm like, I don't know how to help you. Yeah, and you want to help. And he's like, <laughs> you, you start to feel like a failure because you're the parent and you can't even help him. You don't even know why he's crying or what to do. Yeah. And also, on top of everything, you're both of us don't even have time to be ourselves or to pay attention to each other. Like, and you're not the relationship is all weird. It's like yeah. you don't have time to watch stuff like we used to or mm-hmm. hang out. It's just everyone is in survival mode. Mm-hmm. Right. <coughs> I mean, it's getting easier now yeah. because now we we know the baby and well, well he's we're older. It, we're making it through the tough part. I feel like you know. Yeah, he's almost two months now. I think that's a big difference. Dude, the first two months are fucking so mental. It's it's by like the first couple of days are insane. The first week is rough. The first month hard, and then it starts to kind of like. I feel like it's just starting to get easier. Maybe <laughs> this week. Yeah. <laughs> because well on top of everything you've said it's just he is very demanding because mm-hmm. he's just crying all the time and 
he's very he actually and Theodore specifically, he's got to be one of the toughest babies. He's colic, which he has gas issues. He spits means, up all the time. Yeah. He's gassy, so he's uncomfortable and crying all the time. He's like a farting machine, a burping yeah. machine. So the gas in their little tummies and intestines hurts them because they're so little. It's you know when you have like painful gas, so they feel yeah. that all the time. And Theodore's got to be one of the toughest kids, man, because he is just. You would feed him. And he'll eat it up, and then he's just uh, miserable afterwards because he's in pain. Yeah, which is so, it's such a bummer because you feel like you fed him, he should be happy now, and it's its not like that. He, then he starts to have gas, and then yeah. he needs to burp, so he's crying because he needs to burp. Then he was spitting up and like a buckload. He would spit up a lot and still cry, and then we don't know, does it mean that he wants more food now? Mm-hmm. Or is there is still more burps more food? to come out? I don't know. Because a lot of times we're like, oh, he just needed more food. We're like, oh, yeah, we figured out. He just, when he cries, he wants more food. But then, but then not always. Not always. <laughs> yeah. And the first three days were like the some of the cr- craziest ever because he was losing weight. He wasn't eating normal, anything, and he was lo- but, no, but he was losing a lot of weight. Yeah, like because we took him to the doctor. I mean, we went they, for follow ups every day, but they were concerned. But it was it kept losing it, losing weight, and then my milk wasn't coming in. Yeah. So we we both wish that someone told us to just give him formula earlier. Well, you know what. I will, there's a lot of of uh, of myths around formula. There's it's a lot the whole, of, of the, we're getting into a whole other topic. I feel like breastfeeding is a cult, and people try well, to force you into breastfeeding. So the doc, way too much. The do, I agree with that because well, it took it to the point where where people didn't even we didn't even really consider formula as an alternative when our right. baby was literally starving to death he and was screaming starving. in our face like newborn babies are supposed to sleep 18 hours a day he slept like 5 hours a day and the rest he was just uh Crying. 10 out of 10 agony and 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 then you know it's true that breastfeeding does stuff like it helps with the immune system but there's this kind of old long lasting myth that it like gives you ten IQ points, yeah. and I'm and I'm like that doesn't really make sense, and so I'm started looking into it, and it's based on some old, kind of, not very, uh, sound research studies. The thing is that either way, you you can do whatever you can do. If your body is not producing enough milk, it's starving. Yeah, in your case, there was a biological issue, but still, there's a lot of people that. Um, Well, at any rate, I agree that that you just got to do what you got to do. But they kept bringing us to for follow ups. We were there every day Mm -hmm. after delivery. Like I was, you know, would like to stay at home and heal and stay with him. But every day we had to go back there and everyone in the hospital, all they would talk about is breastfeeding. Mm -hmm. Let me see your nipple. Your nipple looks fine. There's no reason. He's latching. Everything is fine. Yeah. Well, okay. He's latching. He's on me for two hours and he's still crying. Yeah. Now I know that he was starving. Yeah. Wish, yeah, the whole thing was so frustrating. Wish that I, I knew kind of earlier. It was, it was really upsetting that after all that time, they it, they had to wait till like he was actually lost a concerning amount of weight. Well, when they actually started to get worried was when he didn't pee. Oh yeah, he didn't right. pee for like two fucking days. And we were there every day. They knew that he wasn't peeing. Did we talk about how they were going to give him a catheter? We did. Yeah, you did when I wasn't here, yeah. I think. And, you know, it's like, hello, of course he's not paying. He's not fucking drinking anything. I don't know. It's annoying. And they have these people there that are, like, uh, lactation specialists. Yeah. And I thought these motherfuckers were doctors. They're just some women. Yeah. They're not doctors, dude. Just all they did was talk about my nipples. Remember? Yeah, they kept like, they were raving about Eli's it was nipples. So, it was so weird. Every single person that saw Eli's nipples was like, "You have beautiful nipples. You have it perfect was nipples." So every weird. single person, and we go to a new person, <laughs> and then he, they would look at Eli's nipples, and unprompted, without and, talking to anyone else, would be like, "Eli, or you have beautiful, perfect and nipples." My nipples are, are Me, normal. It's regular. No, you have beautiful, perfect <laughs> nipples. No, you got some big ass fucking, like I said, handlebars. No. <laughs> 
<laughs> no, but it's true. When you when you got but it when you gave birth, your when nip, I'm looking back at it, I get annoyed. Yeah. Because what is this cult? It's the breastfeeding cult. It is, and it's at the hospital, which makes me really upset. Because people at the hospital should worry about the kid, not about breastfeeding. Well, and also if the, he's starving, the doctor, give me, tell me to give him formula because I don't know what I'm doing. And the doctor never. This was all from these these consultants, you know, who are just ladies. They're not even nurses. I figured they were fucking. I think they just they offload this work onto these pseudo doctors, these breast lactation specials, yeah. because the nurses and doctors don't have time to talk about this bullshit. And so they undergo some training courses, and that's it. Yeah. And they and you know we all know that it's preferred, but I mean, my God. Of course, I wanted to. Anyway, I tried. It was on me for so long, and like it's exhausting, and it's you got to sit out there with your boob out for two hours, hoping that he's getting something. You did have it's beautiful, exhausting. life-giving, perfect. <laughs> God. I mean, they look like this microphone. No, they don't. <laughs> um, but when you gave birth, because you, I mean, I agree your nips are normal. They're normal. But when you gave birth, they turn into a couple handlebars. I know, it changes. Yeah, I know. It does. So they're right. You did a perfect. But... I never got to suck your tit milk. That was my only regret. Because <laughs> there wasn't any. <laughs> yeah, Theodore was hogging, whatever there was. I did. I kept pumping for three weeks, or maybe the first month. I don't remember anymore. And I gave him whatever I could. But like, God, Theodore, give me a fuck. Get, get, hit me. Let me go to some of the tip milk, Theodore. What the hell? No, I never tasted tip milk. I never tasted it either. But you saw what was coming out versus what he was eating. Like he was already eating, let's say, two ounces, and I was getting was, like ten. Dude, it was like a quarter. When he was born, now he's eating. I don't know how much. Okay, we've <laughs> talked enough about breastfeeding, but I don't know how much milk these women are producing because he is chugging. A lot. It's a crazy amount of milk. It becomes a problem. Sometimes they're producing too much and it hurts, and they need to get rid of some. Filling a whole damn two-liter yeah. carton. Get some cereal <laughs> going with that. Breastfeeding is a nightmare. Um. Anyway, Theodore's doing great. He's undergoing extreme mommy propaganda, which I don't like, but <laughs> I am I am also team mommy, so. I didn't buy that shirt. I wouldn't. I believe in team the, mommy. as a team. We're Why don't you just get a, a shirt team? that says, fuck dad? <laughs> yeah. Why don't you just get a shirt that says, dad suck? <laughs> you want to watch some Ethan Bradbury stuff? Of course. <laughs> okay, so you guys know that Ethan Bradbury's been on the regular, <laughs> the regular schmegala, and I've been digging into his Instagram page. And he's got this whole Godfather persona where it's like, uh, you've been good to your mother? I haven't got a call from your mother in three months. Which sounds bad, but it's good. Because apparently Cheers. all the moms call Ethan Bradbury when they have complaints about their kids. <laughs> For whatever reason. Yeah. Never heard of such a thing. And I've long speculated that whatever, whatever there was of Ethan Bradbury's personality... He's been completely possessed by this meme, <laughs> and he walks around in life, and this is how he talks to everybody. I don't mm -hmm. think he knows how to function outside of this Papa Berry meme, like the grand, the you know, the the God Papa, the God Berry. <laughs> so here, I mean, I've pulled a lot of samples from his Instagram, growing all the way back. What's the date on this one? To fourteen weeks ago, February fourteenth. And I think he's only gotten deeper and deeper into oh, this. Oh, so he's been on it for a while. Long time. So let's start. <laughs> We're going to start recent and go back. Or do you want to start? You want to start back in time up? Yeah. Okay. So this is the first known instance of the God Papa <laughs> wow. making an appearance. This was in East Village, Manhattan, 14 weeks ago. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, we don't have sound. Is it muted from the oh, last probably, episode? Yeah, the site's probably still muted. Mother of God. <laughs> okay. Hey, Andy! <laughs> what we got going on over here, huh? We get in. What are you out of your mind? It's great to see you in New York City. Bradbury. Where you been, brother? Come on, I'll tell you. Where you been, brother? I'll tell you in a second. Come over here, okay. eh? Uh -huh. Bring it in, baby. The uh -huh. kisses are really intimate with these Your mother's girls. been calling me. <laughs> 
Good news. That's bad news. She said you haven't been good he to her. Huh? That's not good news, brother. Be good to your mother, Capish. Capish. Ah! Oh, man. Wow. So this Come has on. been going on since February? Yeah. Hey, hey, Interesting, hey. right? Yeah. What we got going on over here, huh? Like, he's committed. He didn't know what you, his, his, his homies don't even know the mean. They didn't know what you brother? He's like, like, oh, that's good news. My mom called you. Not good news. Look at homie in the background is panicking. Your mother's been calling me. That's the first known instance. That's a true artist. He's living his art, you know? That's true. It's like, have you seen the movie The Prestige? Yeah. With the twins? I'm going to, I think I just spoiled it. I spoiled the whole movie. Well, it's an old movie, right? But the point is that a true magician, a true artist. It's not about what happens on stage. It's about the whole life is the <laughs> trick. He was doing tricks that nobody knew how. And the twist was he had a twin brother. There was two of them. And their whole lives was dedicated <laughs> to convincing the world there was only one of them. That's Ethan Bradbury. <laughs> That's the dedication that's required. Here you go. The second known instance. Now hold the fucking phone. This is why does this say twenty three weeks ago? The comment. Yeah, but uh but why this is from twenty three weeks ago. This one's even older. Mm. February fifteenth. Wait. They're both from February. I don't okay. know what was the date. Exactly. Hey Bruno What He's we in a... got, huh? We ain't get a one It looks like they're in a casino. Yeah. And getting closer for the kiss. Let me tell you something, huh? You begin to your mother? Huh. Where you get it, huh? Uh, she's been giving me phone calls. Ah, come on. I don't want to hear it again, huh? Never again. Don't never. make your mother call me again. Ah, where you get it? Capiche? Capiche, huh? Come on! <laughs> hey, Bruno! Oh, you know what I feel like? I feel like they're referencing a movie or something. It has to be, yeah. I don't know which one. You know. I feel like our viewers could, um... Well, the online sleuths. Yeah, I mean, if you guys know what's going on, I'm sure it's from a movie or something, but I, I love... thought that he like made it up. The nah. whole mom calling him. No, sorry. <laughs> but this one's great because like Bruno is always down to ride with the <laughs> meme. This yeah. guy doesn't know what's going on. And as far as I can tell, he's at a funeral because <laughs> he says condolences to your cousin. <laughs> like watch and he and homie's not down at all. He gets really <laughs> irritated. You'll see here Go ahead uh, Check it out. I got a Harry approaching me. What we got going on over here, baby? Who you kidding? He's what in a suit. Mind? Doesn't I'm look like to... a... Yeah? Oh, doesn't seem like it. Well, come over. I got something to tell you My condolences go out to your cousin, eh? All right, man. Listen that doesn't eliminate the fact your mother keep calling my phone. <laughs> Listen. He's holding his face and he can't get away. It's not funny about that, Capiche? Capiche, my dude. Be good to your mother. A few months ago, you was good to her. What's changing? Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Check it out. I got a Harry approaching uh, me. What do you think? I don't know. So... His yeah. friend, he was holding his face. He was holding him prisoner. He was really had a good, strong hold on his face. And his homie had to break away. Yeah. And Ethan Bradbury pulls it off like, get out of here. You're right. Bruno is right or die. Yeah, Bruno gets into it by... <laughs> um, let's continue because, I mean, my goodness, there's a whole slew of these. Here, Bruno's back. You know it's going to be good. When Bruno's in it, <laughs> dude, Bruno's ready to fuck. Like, he'll take this meme all the way. <laughs> Over here, eh? She says she want to be part of the animal kingdom of the hierarchies, eh? Come on. Come on. <laughs> That's what she's going to get, huh? You going to give it up? Forget about it, huh? Come on, forget about it. She ain't getting it. Oh, he's going in for the kid. Come on! You get it, eh? Basta. That one's a little weird. I, I think Bruno needs to know his place, though. I was uncomfortable yeah, yeah. that he went in to kiss the, the Papa Berry. Because, you know, who are you? What's with all this passionate kissing? So there's one specific clip where the kissing gets so passionate. It's here. 
with Bruno, of course. The kissing gets so passionate that I'm I'm certain they're just gonna start making out. <laughs> Look how close they are. I got Bruno. Where you looking? Come on. They're an inch away well, from where each you other. Where you looking, Bruno? Come on. Look how oh, close they are. Man. Been good to your mother, huh? Dude, they are literally about to make up. Seriously. Dude, that is a passionate gift. You gave me the first phone call in six months. You wasn't too good. Look how he's holding his face. I mean, they're gonna make out. Take you to the church. She's coming along with us. To the church? Come on. To the town! Come on. I got Bruno. This guy, so weird. <laughs> Just imagine these guys like establish their own society. Like what would happen of a society where Ethan Bradbury was the it's, there would be no more language. The language it's just would come it would be this new guy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Bruno's such a legend. We got one more here, huh? Who are you kidding? Forget about it. Oh yeah, this one is very intimate as well. One day ago. Andy Joe Gambino reached to the front of me, huh? In the heart of Brooklyn, Buda, New York ago. City. You been good to your mother? I've been great to my mother. That's good. Keep it that way. She hasn't given me a call in about two months. Oh, that's the one. Yeah, we've seen that. Yeah. This is the genesis. I need some space for my raw. Yeah, drink your raw. Oh, yeah, he gets angry because it's not raw. Is it raw? Ooh, it's the raw still the raw. No, it's not. <laughs> it's the raw still the raw. I see the cream and sugar in there. It ain't right. <laughs> Come over here. What we got? I just walked Uh huh. One more. That's Listen, four. be good to your mother. Be great to your mother. So I feel like he beach. is uncomfortable. Everybody's uncomfortable. Except but. Bruno. Bruno, he's ready to fuck. One night, they'll have one drink. I feel like Bruno actually might be into it, but he's too afraid to get in touch with that side of himself. And he doesn't know if Ethan is being serious or if it's a meme. Mm -hmm. But I do feel like there could be a romantic connection there. Yeah. Right? I'll keep following. Dude, I'm just waiting for them to be like, Bruno! And they start making out the <laughs> tongues and shit. <laughs> so epic. <laughs> what we got here, huh? All right, well, it's break time, right, then. It's time to take a break. Yep. When, when, when we come back, we we're going to have... Uh, Ian has prepared a PowerPoint for us. Oh it's about time, right, guys? On Little Nas X is rise to stardom and is smashing the world record of the longest-running song at number one on the 100 Billboard. So there's a lot of intrigue and a lot to get to right after this quick commercial break. Ila, do you ever have trouble finding the perfect software? Yes. You could look online and everywhere for hours and hours and days and days because you have a very specific problem and you need the perfect software that's going to address that problem. Do you know what I'm saying? Captera. That's why Captera is so genius because they aggregate software from niche stuff as much as yoga management systems, yoga studio management systems, all the way up to something as accessible as, you know, accounting software, content management software. Whatever your problem is in business, you need a solution. Captera has got the perfect software to address that issue. And not only that, Ela, it gets better. They've got users with there, well, let me just put it this way. 950,000 reviews of products from real software users, okay? Reviews are big online. These are real people, real reviews. Because you can find the perfect software, but for all you know, it might just be malware, okay? <laughs> but here you get to read actual reviews. You get to see how people enjoyed it. This, Captera, is a one-of-a-kind place on the Internet. You've got all the software aggregated for your businesses. You've got... Uh, uh, nearly a million reviews of, of real users using this product. There's nothing else like it, okay? Join the millions of people who use Captera each month to find the right tools for your business needs. And I want you guys to be successful. I want your businesses to grow. And with Captera, you're going to be able to do that, finally. So, visit Captera.com slash H3. It's free, baby. Today, right now. Find the tools to make an informed software decision for your business. Captera.com slash H3. That's Captera. C-A-P-T-E-R-R-A dot com slash H3. Are you hungry right now? Well, let me put it this way. 
Do you want $5 free towards your next meal? Because that's what DoorDash is offering you right freaking now. Let me tell you about DoorDash. Their delivery service. They got hooked up with all the bomb major restaurants in your neighborhood. They got 3,300 cities in all 50 states and Canada as well. It's door-to-door delivery. Amazing restaurants. Everything you love. They've got, you know, anything from Chipotle, Wendy's, Chick-fil-A, Cheesecake Factory, and any of your favorite restaurants around. They've got it all connected. And here's their offer that is so out of control. Right now, you get five bucks. That's it. Free five bucks off an order of $15 or more when you download the DoorDash app and enter promo code H3. Boom. Right there. Just give it a shot. That's $5 off your first order when you download the DoorDash app from the App Store and enter promo code H3. Easy as that. Promo code H3. $5 off your first order from DoorDash. Eh, Guys, it's that simple. You're hungry. I'm hungry. Let's order some bomb-ass food. Give it a shot. You get $5 for free. It's really that simple. You know? I mean, there's really nothing more to say. Welcome back. It's time, finally, for Ian the Intern PowerPoint. We've missed it dearly. It's been way too long. Ian, get that sweet little... Why are you going in the kitchen? I'm summoning you, and he's walking in the kitchen. You're being summoned. (laughs) Ian the Intern, God bless it. Where's the song? Uh, yeah, whatever. You're looking good. I see. So we've got Ian here. You know, round of applause. Um, he's dressed for the occasion. Let's. What are you wearing here today? It's all black. You know, little Johnny Cash action, cowboy. Status. Let's see your f- shoes. He's got his. Uh, wow. Suede shoes, or I mean, some not kind of suede. Not suede. What? <laughs> what is it? These are just really just dress shoes. Dress shoes. They're no Gucci loafers. I'll tell you that. <laughs> no, they're not. Slides. No, they're not. Okay, <laughs> I see. I see yeah. the swag. I see the vision. <laughs> I'm. I'm just wearing yeah, Vans man. today. All right. So, but the cowboy hat looks good, and I appreciate you getting in the character. Yeah. You know, it's cowboy time. You guys got some too. So. Yeah, I thought you were going to bring them. Should in. We, well, they're. Oh, they're right there. Okay. Do it. Saddle up. You want the white on you or the blue? blue. You're like a little Dallas cheerleader. Yeah, I like the blue and red. You look American as fuck. I'm all white. (laughs) Anyway, so would you like to have a seat? Shall we switch? Yeah, are we swapping? Yeah, swap. Okay. Swap shop. Little (laughs) little do-si-do, little. little, little. (laughs) Not very prepared here, but (laughs) we're figuring it out. How's the how's the energy over on that side of things? Um, it's fine. This H three podcast is very it's powerful statement. It lets <laughs> you know where you are. But I, I only just found out that this isn't a podcast. I know. Right? <laughs> it's not really, is it? Not really. Yeah. Well that's a bit of a But we're gonna call too it too late. Up. Yeah, it's our we already <laughs> wrote it on the wall. Kind of a twist. All right, so I have a little video. Um This is a disaster. <laughs> Whenever we try to do anything. Then, can you also adjust the screen there? This is royalty free music, I trust. I don't yep. see the stream. You know what you're doing. Took the beanie to you. So, are you going to explain who's Little Nas X to the. I'm not really sure what is about to happen. Um, should I just follow your leech diet? Should, is there any questions I should be asking? Should we give any background? <laughs> Go we'll, ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> go ahead. So we'll play the clip. <laughs> okay. And then we'll we'll dive in. Okay. Take, take the wheel. Jesus, take the wheel. <laughs> Always. Got okay. it. Uh, Dan, is that all good? Can you? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> yeah, you're all good. Okay. Just prepared this whole thank oh. you message for Oh, whoa, 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 Oh, what? Whoa. That was so fast. You're not going to read it? I mean, I could read There's it. Wor- you know, pe- this is a podcast. People are listening. But it, why do I see there are the levels? Is that what people actually see? No. <laughs> it was no, covering no. the... It, no. Okay, because it was covering okay. our shot. Can we restart? Can we get <laughs> Reboot. Back in front of the game? <laughs> Reset. No, no, but there are people listening, so someone's got to read that. I mean... But also, I'm not like... I'm not <laughs> Goodwill hunting. I can't... That was so fast, I didn't even get a chance to read it. 
You want me to do it? I want you to go back, first of all. Okay. Somebody's right. got to read it. I think you. I'll read it. You're at the helm. <laughs> yeah. I'll read it. All right. Go ahead. On July 29th, Old Town Road officially broke the record for longest Did number you one. Did <laughs> On the Billboard Hot 100. <laughs> I know, but you couldn't even read it fast enough. I could read that fast enough. Let's All right, do it. so. On July 29th, Old Town Road officially broke the record for the longest number one song on the Hot Billboard Hot 100. Barely made it. Congrats to. Lil well, Nas nice. X. Very nice. Very beautiful. Oh, wow. Hey. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> no way. No, that's And I heard, sad. as it were, the noise of thunder. <laughs> One of the four beasts saying, come and see, and I saw, and behold, a white horse, and I looked, and behold, a pale horse, and his name that sat on him was death, and hell followed with him. Holy shit, that was sick, bro. Can we turn up the volume a little slightly? The very Green. right. Yeah. I'm going to take my horse to the old Whoa. town road. Ride until I can't know more. I'm going to take my horse to the old town road. Ride until I can't know more. I'm going to take my horse to the old town road. Ride until I can't know more. Wow. Until I can't no more. Whoa. What? There you go. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Thank you. I gotta watch that. I, I want to watch that again. That w I don't want. I'm not gonna make everyone do that. But that was spectacular. I'm going to the old town road. I love how the Nas broke into the pentagram or the triangle. <laughs> yeah, you know, there's a lot of layers to this. It goes. <laughs> well, you better break that down for me. I don't know if I can. I thought I knew what I was doing and what I was talking about. Not really. Mm. But. Okay. We'll get there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, great. So. We'll do the old school PowerPoint, yada, yada. People I really know. like that edit, Ian. That was really good. <laughs> thank yeah. you. Thank you. Yeah, it, uh, it turned out. So this is the Ballad of Little Pony Lad, the 10th. Wait, who's Pony Lad? Little Nas X. I just think Pony Lad. I like to call oh, him. Oh, Pony Lad. Okay. Little he's Big, Little Pony oh, Lad. Oh, because you have a picture of actual Nas. And so yeah, I'm it's Nas. Oh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and I, I, I did draw that horse, too. I think it looks pretty good. Oh, you did? <clears throat> thank you. Yeah, yeah. She didn't say nice. she liked it. Yeah. I you, was I, going I, to. Thank you for the high <laughs> I think it looks great. Uh, so we're going to run it back to kind of the origin of... <clears throat> whatever he's doing, the country music, rap, hip hop, fusion mm -hmm. thing. Mm -hmm. These are kind of the wild. These are the uh, uh, these are kind of the precursors, you mm -hmm. know. These are the <clears throat> the guys who laid the path. Cool Mo D, Bone Thugs and Harmony, Outcast, Kid Rock, UGK, Bubba Sparks, Timbaland, Will Smith, Nelly, Tim McGraw, Young Carl, Nappy Roots. Young thug family don't matter. These are freaking. These are the guys. Mm -hmm. So he comes from a long line of he 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 stands on the shoulder of giants. In other words, yes. But these people all took themselves very seriously. So I think that's the they were actually trying to blend these two genres like in a very smooth, right? But self serious way. A lot of like bravado and all that type right, of thing. Right. Um, outlaw cowboy vibes. Mm. I think though, Lil Nas is a bit more similar to this guy. Meme hiccup. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it, you showed a picture of Weird Al. Yes, Lil Nas reminds me more of Weird Al. Interesting. He's like what Weird Al did with White and Nerdy. Mm. Mm. He's like the reverse. I, that's how I see it. Anyway. I think you're right. He doesn't take himself seriously, which is kind of the power. Yeah. I mean, the whole video it's based on like Red Dem Redemption, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. He just likes that video game. <laughs> Yeah, he has no like roots in the stuff, like the. I, he just, it's like a meme, you know, mm -hmm. like the game and then jumped on. Uh, so last year, this song came out by this guy, Fly Rich Double, called Yup on My Tractor. I can play like a little snippet of it, right? Play it. We're gonna, we're gonna have to dispute all day here, but yeah, go ahead and play it. I'll just jump forward here. Pastor, fucked her in the pastor. Yep, on my tractor. Oh, these guys are having a good time. <laughs> so they're like on a farm, and there's a whole bunch of homies fucking around on a tractor. It's pretty awesome, dude. Yeah. Yeah, so this was uh, last year in August. Mm. 
Uh, the resurgence. Yeah, this was kind of the um, transitioning it into more of like a joke. Like these guys are kind of joking. Mm-hmm. You can tell the vibes a little different. Definitely. Uh, so, little backstory. I did reach out to Lil Nas mm. a while ago to interview him because I wanted to do a PowerPoint. Uh, back when he started gaining this like traction, and then he just ghosted me. Wait, you were in touch with Before him? he blew up. Before. So wow. I emailed him no way. on April 2nd, 2019. And uh, then I followed up again the next day. Hi again. <laughs> <laughs> and there's more to the email and, you know, laying out our numbers. And I told him I only want to talk for like just five minutes on the phone. That's like all I wanted. Wow. First of all, let me say, I did not know about this, Ian. And I love the... Yeah. I love the uh, go-getting that I'm seeing here. Well, now I hold a grudge against this man. He just left me on red. He blew up. (laughs) Fucking. Well, because then I emailed him April 3rd. April 5th, the Billy Ray remix came out. So then it was all. Big shot. Yeah. It was all turbo racer. (laughs) He left your ass on the old town road. Yeah, he did. Left me there. But wait, the did he ever respond to you? Because I don't. No. See he you. never answered. Oh well, why do you hold a grudge? I thought you guys had communication. Just because he ghosted him. He just. He didn't even. He just he sent me straight you. to the he trap. Just, I guess he yeah. didn't ghost you. He, he went just... straight to spam. <laughs> yeah, he yeah. just ghosting implies there was communication. <laughs> he clicked the check mark and clicked mark is red without opening it. I don't even gone. did that. Yeah, honestly. I don't. I think you're left on red. Or left. <laughs> you're left I'm still on. on red. I'm just in the email graveyard. Yeah. Yeah, dude. That's even worse. My <laughs> grudge is even stronger now. <laughs> mm. So having said that, you know, I think that uh, he's a thief and a liar and a cheat. What? No, no. <laughs> uh, so how there's. Could, this, why would you? How could you say that? Well, there's this other song. We talked about this. Now let me ask you this before we yeah. go. On. What was the point of playing that previous song? Well, those two, that song came out still before Lil Nas's. But I want. I think that was inspired as well by this next song. This song came okay, out. Okay, so before... this song came out before everything. Yeah. Okay. So this song actually came out on May eighth, and then the remix uh, eleven days later. So with Lil Uzi Vert, who we're all familiar with, right. favorite rapping Satanist. Absolutely. Um, so he jumped on this, th- and this came out. Old Town Road came out in December of last year. So, a uh, short five months later, yeah, or something, yeah. So I Seven think months. this is kind of like the inspiration behind these songs. Clearly not very serious. Yeah. No, it's definitely a meme. So there's similar like lip. I mean the the chorus. I got horses in my car. Yeah. That's horses true. in the back. Right. Let's pause it. Yeah. You just. And, and then there's also other lines. He says, "I'm sipping lean like a Coors Light," and Lil Nas has, oh. you know, a line about. I love the E with the auto tune. Personally, this has been stuck in my head more than <laughs> Old Town Road. This song snaps for you. Yeah, I really can't get it out of my head. It's so which of these two it. songs came first, you're saying? So they this came, came out in May. So this guy kind of set the resurgence of the cowboy hip-hop chic back into, brought him back into the forefront of our cultural uh, consciousness. Am I right, Ian? So, well, mm-hmm. both of them cite this other guy, Young Thug, who did a song. But it's not a jokey song. Well, let me hear mm. that one. I don't have it. Oh. Okay. So let's cut. Can we cut that, Dan? Can we cut that <laughs> line out? Um, but that was not as much of a joke as this. This is clearly like, yeah. this is him just joking. Yes. It's putting on the accent and goofing around. Yes. So I think Lil Nas pretty much directly, he definitely heard this. I have mm-hmm. no doubt. And then made his song. Mm. And then certain, I uh, just the lines are similar. I don't know. I, no well, one knows how much he was inspired by it. Well, I didn't. I mean, I I'm sure you're getting to it, but it seems didn't Little Nas reach out to this dude for a collab? Yeah. So that's the next. Well, uh, isn't that proof that he's heard? Because you said I'm pretty sure he's heard of it. Isn't that not proof? Yeah. 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 Definitely. Okay. 
So, well, this is the guy, Lil oh Tracy. Goodness, getting ahead of myself. Mm-hmm. Lil Tracy, who made that song. Uh, there he is saying, I was actually inspired by Young Thug to make like a farmer. Lil Nas simply ran with the sauce. Lil Nas X is not innovative. He is a fake mogul. Oof. Okay, well, let me address. Actually, I feel like. Go ahead and on the screen. On the and then DM. this is also. Yeah. These are all deleted tweets now, but. Mm. Um, this is a DM. Oh, he tweeted it. Yeah. Wow. And then deleted it. So this is Lil Tracy saying uh, Lil Nas uh, DM'd him in January. Want to hop on Old Town Road? So that's like just a couple weeks after it came out. He put it out and then immediately reached out to Lil Tracy. Hang on. Oh, so he so he DM'd him and then uh, he tweeted it out because he said, "Bro, why did you tweet that? I've been trying to get you on the song." So that actually, he's responding to Lil Nas tweeting, I think the one on the left, yeah. Like, why are you attacking me? I tried to get Mm. you on this song. So So hold on, he said, you want to hop on the song? He said, yes. But he said it, well, two months later. Oh. And... Oh, he didn't respond after two months. Oh, and this guy wants to get on only after he blew up? Mm. Is that what I'm seeing here? I think maybe... Who released the dance on the right? Lil Tracy, he tweeted this. Because I I don't know if he's exposing so himself. Confusing. Because yeah. on the left... When did the Old Town Road come out? Uh, December. At, when uh, was the tweet on the left tweeted? Because the date is cropped out. The one on the left, uh, it was around... <coughs> I'm pretty sure around March. Okay. Beginning of March. So Lil Nas says, you want to hop on Old Town Road. Mm-hmm. And then, whoa. whoa, and then two months later, and then a month later, he tweets out, fuck Lil Nas. He copied my sauce. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then a month later, again, he responds and says, yes. Or oh, around the same time, this tweet. That yeah, I think it's around the same, around time. The same time. So he's he doesn't actually want, he's just fucking. He may just be messing dude. with him. Yeah. So he goes, Lil Nas is a bitch. He goes into the DMs, he says, yes. And then Lil Nas says, bro, why'd you tweet that? I've been trying to get you on this song. And then he says, get me on it. Yeah. He's just being a dick. I think so. Now, let's address he that. He seems pretty soft. And then people were saying at his live concerts, he said, like, fuck Lil Nas. <laughs> oh, really? Fuck Old Town Road. So he's kind of oh, upset okay. about it. Let me address this guy, yeah. Tracy Vert. Ethan, real quick, can you sit up, please? <laughs> yeah. You're, like, leaning all the way out of this. Yeah, I got lean on my bladder, dude. Come on. <laughs> he says, I was actually inspired by Young Thunk to make... Like a farmer. Okay, first of all, Tracy Vert, you yourself are saying that you're not an original. You may, you were inspired. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. So what the fuck is your point? You, in your original tweet, say that you're inspired by Young Thug. But What's he, Young Thug going to go accuse him of ripping him off? So he feels like he was inspired versus Little Nas, you think, actually copied him. But I feel like you're walking such a gray area here. Like, nah. I don't see... Listening to both of the songs, I don't see it as a copy. Well, he says he he stole his sauce. Actually, no, he he doesn't even say that. He says ran with the sauce. You know, maybe there was some sauce that he ran with, but I have to say, after hearing both songs, the I mean, they're very different. And yeah. let me also say that what Little Nas made with Billy Ray Cyrus is a hit. Yeah. That song is produced, it's like crazy. I mean, this guy's song is just a little SoundCloud shitpost. Right. That song never had the potential to go number one, Billboard. No. I agree. So he, did he take the, so he says, he took the sauce and he ran with it. That's exactly what he did. And I've seen a lot of comments, people saying, Tracy Vert walked so Lil Nas could run. And that's exactly right. That's what happened. Yeah. It's not a bad thing. No, it's not a bad thing. I don't think Lil Nas did anything bad. I don't either. I I totally... And for him to say not innovative, he's a fake mogul, I mean... Well, I don't think he's ever purported to be a mogul. It's just a dude that made a hit The thing is that sometimes there's just... There's trends in the air, you know? People feel the same vibe, and people get inspired from each other, and people end up making sometimes similar things, and it doesn't mean they copied each other. Absolutely. I see it a lot with Teddy Fresh... People will point out other color blocking, and they'll mm-hmm. be like, "They're copying you." It's like, no, they're not. Then they're totally not. I first of all, I didn't invent color blocking, not even close. And second of all, it's just a trend right now, and a lot of people are feeling it. 
people but the, are liking it. They want to wear it right now. They're running with the sauce. Yeah. Right. And it's possible they saw our color block and they saw how popular it is, but that's okay. It's I mean, still that's not tri- a that's, copy. Yeah. And I mean, in the marketplace of ideas, you just got to have a better idea. You, and I think mm-hmm. Lil Nas made a better product ultimately, mm-hmm. and it was more successful. For this guy to have a chip on his shoulder, I mean, he could have, he had the opportunity to get on that shit. He yeah. really, he fucked himself over by not getting on that, didn't he? Yeah, so the two remixes go, three, 45, I don't remember. Well, Young Thug jumped on, the guy mm-hmm. that they all the keep original. mentioning. original. Yeah. Oh, he got skipped <laughs> over. Yeah, he's on there, so. Oh, that's beautiful. He's on the one with Mason Ramsey, the little, okay. little, little kid. So. so, by the way, we were discussing this, and I was like, Ian, how, how is it that all these remixes are coming out, and he still has one song at number one? And you answered me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they all funnel to Billboard takes the most successful one. And uh, then all the remixes that come on after that, all of the, you know, momentum and streams and so, it all funnels into the main one. Uh, so so Lil Nas, <laughs> you have to respect the hustle this little cowboy's got. <laughs> because these remixes, dude, this guy is hustling for that number one spot. Mm-hmm. And you also have to appreciate, he tweeted out, he says he made this song specifically two minutes long so people could stream it more. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's uh, 30 seconds to uh, to count as a stream. Mm. So, yeah, the last remix, it was like 150. <laughs> the like, homie just keeps cutting down the... <laughs> yeah. But you got to appreciate the hustle, man. This guy's making, he just released a, a remix with some K-pop guy that people were losing their minds about. It sounds the fucking same. It doesn't sound it's any just different. blatant because he's trying to tap into that market. It's right. all like just marketing. I'm moves. loving it. He's so I lo- I follow him and like everything he posts, he looks so happy and yeah. so he's always goofing around and having I like fun. His vibe. He's so like silly and just enjoying the ride. He's got a great vibe. I feel like it's a shame because um, Tracy Tracy Vert. How should L- I address L- him? Little Tracy. Little Tracy. He made such a silly song, and then he goes on and being so petty. If your vibe is like this silliness, you should have let it go and join join the party. Join the fucking rodeo. Instead of mm-hmm. kill the party, join the party. Join the rodeo, dude. It's a goddamn powwow. Let's do a do do You know what I'm saying, Ian? I know. I know. We'll, we'll uh, ring around the hay bales, something like that. Fucking goddamn. But anyways, yeah, so uh, I do feel kind of bad. I do like his song, and it's... Uh, but do you feel bad I like for? I like his song a lot. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I get why maybe he's upset, but it sucks that, you know. I don't. I don't I don't. He needs to get over it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. In this world, you you don't get anywhere by by getting yeah. petty and making enemies. You, you got to join, you got to bring the fucking cornbread. Mm-hmm. You got to join the dosido. You got to get yourself a partner and do the goddamn dosido. I don't feel bad for him. Also, what you always will learn is that there's room for everyone. Yes, you are. He's Preach not. It. He's not stealing lessons from yours. Unless you're on Twitch. Twitch is the only place <laughs> there's not room for everyone. <laughs> yes, there's yeah. space in this world for everyone. Yeah. You know. Yeah. And I feel like as well, he did get. Apparently, at one point, Lil Nas had a playlist on SoundCloud. He it's deleted now, and it was. Um, songs that paved the way to old town road mm. and like a farmer was on there mm-hmm. okay. so that was him kind of going like you did i did take from this but you know here's me mm-hmm. promoting it yeah. well you can easily make the argument that the references to lean and horses in the back are also nods to this song right. i mean he can give this nod to the song and he's not stealing like a little it. homage yeah, yeah exactly it's not gotcha like, yeah i mean the so- the songs sound completely different Oh, this is so all of the flipping remixes. I'm really going all in with these graphics here. I love it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's great. Come on. So there's the first one with Billy, Bill Ray Cyrus. Um, then he did one with Diplo. Then one with Young Thug and Mason Ramsey. <clears throat> there's a leaked one with Lil Wayne. No way. So really? that isn't even out yet? <laughs> it's not out. You, you, you can find it. You can find it. Somewhere. Is it fire? I haven't heard it. Is it sound the same as all the other ones? I don't ones? partake in illegal content on the internet. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, You're the, just telling people it's out there. Yeah, you can, you <laughs> you can, can go get it. it. It's out there. <laughs> yeah, I've uh, never heard it, though. Never heard it. Um, then that guy, R, his name's RM from BTS, which is a K-pop group that everyone goes nuts over. And then apparently there's a possible one upcoming with this rapper, Megan Thee Stallion, and Dolly Parton. So Dolly Parton's been tweeting about it. Hmm. 
Who? Wait, what? What? Who? Who's Dolly Parton? Singer? Country singer? Hasn't she? Oh. Isn't she like? I don't know. Is she alive? I mean, if she's not, that's a big feat for him for that <laughs> remix. Dolly Parton, isn't she from like 1920? Am I crazy? Who is Dolly? <laughs> How old is Dolly like, Parton, Dan? Is she like? Uh, she's not from the 20s. She she is she very is old, old, but yeah. Uh, yeah. If I had to guess, she's probably in her 70s or 80s. I thought she was like uh, one with the tumbleweed by now. She no, <laughs> she's 73. Okay. okay, well let's get the Dolly Parton that's on the gonna track. That's gonna be hot. Yeah, that's fire. I love that he's dipping into all the country yeah. <laughs> icons. You know, he's dipping everywhere, and I'm. I, I'm ready for it to be over. <laughs> you're over it. <laughs> well, you got your cowboy hat on and your in your suede shoes. You don't look like you're. Ready. I'm hoping <laughs> that it's so corny it's kill, helping kill the meme. I don't think so. I think this. I think this. I think this meme is is just started to gallop. That's awful. into a uh, full blown. That's nightmare. I'm starting to see gate. the end of it. I'm starting to. We we've been fans of the song. We listen to it a lot. Well, they all just sound the same. But I mean, yeah. It's like, I heard the one with BTS everyone was freaking out about. It, and I was like, oh, it sounds exactly the same. It sounds it's the it sounds even worse. <laughs> yeah. I kind of agree with this song. It does sound you know? worse. But I'm in. Oh, wow. Uh, Is that a real? F- uh, wow, she looks really good, Mariah. Yeah, <laughs> she's looking pretty skinny, I think. Good. The record for longest number 1 is now 17 weeks as of yesterday, breaking the 16-week tie between 2017's Louis Fonzi, Daddy Yankee, Justin Bieber, Audio Orgy, Despacito. And the 1995 Mariah Carey Boys to Men Dust One Sweet Day. So what? It's crazy. Those two songs were were holding the record. Yeah. One Sweet Day. What the f is that? That was kind of before my time, so I don't, I don't know. I'd never heard it until I looked this up. How does it go? I can't believe how how good Mariah Carey looks, though. She's really <laughs> been taking care of herself. Yeah, yeah. She's really um, looking trim. Uh, so yeah, and then. We've got so here are all the people that have tried to take him down, tried and failed to They've get that number one. Singles and they have not overtaken Lil Nas X on Billboards. Okay. They've yeah. Released singles. Yeah, they they were they were going for it. They were, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So we got Bugatti Beebs. We got the Ginger Fury. <laughs> we got. Onika Minaj. We got what language are you speaking? We got Posty Maloney. We got dude. I'm surprised that even Post wasn't able to because every time that guy released a song, it's like yeah. number one. What song mm-hmm. did he release? It was uh, Goodbyes with Young Thug. Yeah, uh-huh. Young Thug making a he's everywhere making an appearance, uh-huh. but no. Yeah, we got uh, Catherine B. We got <laughs> T. Swizz. This is everybody. We got. Jonathan Mendez, we got Billy the Kid. That's everybody. <laughs> we got freaking Aubrey. That's everybody. Wow. Aubrey, Champagne, Poppy, Drizzy, Six God. What the wheelchair? Fuck did you say? Jimmy <laughs> Graham, <laughs> the, the legend, and the Burger Lady too. Um, <laughs> she also tried. Yeah. Dude, that's everybody. <laughs> they all tried and failed. They even tried to mix and match Billy. <laughs> tried to get Bugatti Beebs on the remix to her song to try and bump it up. And Ed Sheeran worked with Bieber to try and t- tag team. Uh-huh. None of them can do it. The power wasn't there. I thought there. that Bieber tweeted at Little Nas, congrats. And that's oh. all he said. Just congrats? Yeah. Sounds almost threatening. You could, you could, you could spare it? a couple more letters. <laughs> or congratulations. It's a little one, passive one aggressive. The, yeah. Right? That's what I thought. Congratulations. It's like, wow, dude. With no exclamation mark, I think. I think there was nothing. Yeah. Man, that's a weird, that's very cryptic in a way. <laughs> yeah. Because Justin Bieber's like, that's not, that's literally not cryptic. I said congratulations. <laughs> but is it? Mm-hmm. Right. Mm. So that's mostly all the main power players. I mean, who I mean, are we besides missing? Besides, Ariana Grande has a single coming in like mm. a week or two. But that's so it's she's too gonna late. try, and then she'll be right up here with all these losers. Uh, it's too late, man. Uh, and then Adele, Adele's mm. the only one I think could do it. She's gone, she's missing, but it's too late. He already won. It's like over. they, they, yeah. they, they, they swung and they missed. They all aimed for the head, they didn't aim for the head. Yeah, aim higher next time. Yeah, they blew it. So these people are all failures. <laughs> or do you have a are they gonna? I want to see them like 
just dump away. Like a dust effect? Yeah. Yeah. We can add that in later. <laughs> oh man, no Thanos. They're just map. gone. <laughs> These are the uh, longest running number ones ever. This is just kind of an interesting list. Look at him. Wow. Um, there's a lot of uh, shit on this list. Oh, John, <laughs> Candle in the Wind. Something about the way you look tonight. I'm actually unfamiliar with that song, but I obviously Candle in the Wind. Yeah, there's a lot. You know what it is? It's like these are all radio hits. I'll just read read some of these. So there you got the Macarena. Oh my god. That you know what? 14 weeks. Oh That's insane. My god. It, hey, imagine a world. <laughs> Go back. What year was that from? I remember. Uh, 1996. Imagine a world where Macarena is actually I don't need to imagine. I remember. Number 1 for 14 <laughs> weeks. Hey Macarena, daga daga Macarena. <laughs> Hey, 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 hey. That was insane. People were listening to that. <laughs> Everyone was doing the dance at every birthday oh. party. Wow. Even in Israel. Yeah, it was a it was a phenomenal. What else we got? We got uh I got a feeling the black eyed peas. Up Shout out to Will uh, Uptown yeah. Funk, Bruno Mars. We got Eminem, Lose Yourself, Yeah, Usher and Lil John. Boom Boom Pow, Black Eyed Peas, Blurred Lines, Wiz Khalifa, See You Again, The Chainsmokers, Closer. That's like one of the worst songs I've ever heard. Whoa, hang on. What are we doing? Huh. We're here talking shit about music. I'm talking <laughs> shit. I'm straight. God's <laughs> fired. I hate that song. Huh. Ed Sheeran, Shape of You. What other songs do you hate up here, Ian? Obviously, we've got the legend, Drake, Champagne Poppy, Six God, King Drizzy Slime with God's Plan down there. What about the, you didn't mention the wheelchair. Wheelchair Jimmy? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's he's there. Olivia Newton-John, Let's Get Physical. There's mm. some uh, interesting stuff. Your boy uh, Yeezy never made it, huh? Nah, he's a failure. Whoa, dude. He, <laughs> he blew it. I only count the numbers. He's not here. <laughs> Macarena. <laughs> Independent Woman Part One. <laughs> part two doesn't look like it. Part two <laughs> wasn't as this wasn't as good as the original. Yeah. Uh so yeah, I know, some interesting stuff. I think I could see him going for a few more weeks though and really like yeah. solidifying that he's not going anywhere. Man, I mean that was a long standing Mariah Carey had that from ninety five. Well, if he can just get one more week, I mean, if he could get to 20 weeks, that's a title that may not ever be toppled until I release another diss track. <laughs> mm -hmm. I wonder, I should have looked it up, but I doubt it. If Mariah Carey did any, like, remix Remixing? trickery. Yeah. Let's be honest, the remixes, he's like it's act this way. Sh it's kind it of shady. It's like it's a little... It's totally shady. There should be a little asterisk up there, the, I think. The remix so, is such a... Did Such did bad. any of these other people do it though? Uh, I mean, I'm sure some of these have it, but I don't. I don't think to this degree. I don't think Elton John has any remixes. Yeah, yeah. I wanna, I wanna but what about like Drake with God's Plan? No. No. Or like uh, Eminem would lose yourself. No. A lot of the like Uptown Funk, I don't think has a remix. What about Despacito? That one had remixes, didn't it? So the see, that's the that's featuring Justin Bieber. Up, so that's that one up there. Too. That was the remix. Well, I also oh. noticed if I can point out, Macarena it says Bayside Boys mix. So, yeah. so that appears to have been yeah. remixed as well. Yeah, they. But they list the remix. They oh, they list and the most he popular. Does too. Yeah, okay. They list the most popular one. Yeah, but I would I do think that Candle in the Wind was remixed several times as well. Is that yeah? I think that sounds right. <laughs> it was uh, Dougie Fresh and Elton John, <laughs> original beatbox. I think I remember that in the movie, that deleted scene. Uh, like a, <laughs> like a candle in the. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, let's move on. Moving on. <laughs> yeah, I think there's just crap, crap, and mega crap all over this list. To be honest. Nice. So how did he do it? I was gonna try and tie in like he. Sold his soul with the devil. And did you Photoshop every every skeleton no. here? No, I wish I was no, that talented. <laughs> I can tell you already. Okay. Go ahead. Um, so here's the cover with uh, with Young Thug and Mason Ramsey for that remix. And I found an interesting tweet that I think is some truth from uh, from David over here. 
where he says, uh, the devil is cunning. Look at this cover. Tell me what y'all get from this. For y'all that don't understand, the devil works in exoteric and esoteric what messages. What is exoteric? Ask Dan. He knows. Dan? No, I don't know. <laughs> when I saw that, I was like, what the fuck is that? Can, I see he says exoteric and esoteric, though. Yeah. I didn't, both. Can, can someone look up exoteric? Is that a word? Yeah, I mean, I just thought it was a typo, but I, I guess... It, it then ignorant. repeats it. Yeah, exoterically. <laughs> a carnal mind can understand this is just being a cover about horses, because, oh yeah, Old Town Road. But... Exoteric intended for or likely to be understood by the general public. So it's like the opposite of esoteric. It can't be both, then. It's both. literally the opposite. That's why this is that's the why devil's it's so phenomenal. <laughs> that's why. It's devil magic. Go we ahead. as Christians are told to look past that which is physical and see what's really going on. Uh, Read the book of Revelation. You've heard of the four horsemen. That's true, I have. We're going to have to break this down because I want you all to know the nonsense going on. He's got a good amount of retweets, some likes, some retweets. There's Damn, some action on this. Damn, the devil is cunning. Yeah, <laughs> he's here. I'm starting to buy it. Let's go, man. I like this. <sighs> so, oh, shit. No. <laughs> we got he, our homework here. He breaks. I wish I could get him on the phone, but <laughs> Revelation 6 details four horsemen, their meaning, and their color. The first was the white horse, a conqueror. Wow. The second is the red horse, represents war. The third is the black horse, which represents famine. The last one, the green horse, represents death. Whoa. Wait, why does green... Wait, hold on. Back up. Well, yeah, what? Why does green represent death? It shouldn't green represent famine or... I don't know, like, like, you know, slime. Organic. But you said green <laughs> represents... De- it, the green horse black is death. death? <laughs> black is famine. Uh, it is a putrid famine. green. Why would no? This guy's got it all wrong. Green should be famine, and black is death. You gr- eat green food, and it's not too green. There's nothing mold. death about green. No, I gotta wait. put my foot down there. Is this from the Bible? Yes. That is. Yes. What was yes. that? Yes. That is correct. <laughs> yes. It's from the Bible. He's from the Bible. Okay, I'm gonna take this guy. Did his homework. I'm gonna. He did. He knows his green. Yeah. So. Can y'all explain to me why the four horses mm. match the color in the horses in Revelation? I can't. Why is the white horse the smallest of the four, who is also representative of Jesus? <laughs> Wait, well, this well, is well, mockery. Uh, Wait, the four. I thought white was part he of the four the horsemen of the apocalypse. The first was the great white horse, a conqueror. Jesus, Jesus <laughs> is also depicted. But there's only four horses, so we're missing a horse. Jesus returns on the great white horse in Revelation. Mm-hmm. You got the white, and what else? We so got there the green. Are, yeah. the horses. So you got, oh, there's two. There's, there's a black, four. a brown, and a green. Yeah. But Jesus, white is Jesus. So he's saying by making the Jesus horse all tiny like that is like spitting in Jesus' face. Okay, fine. I'm on board. Okay. <laughs> there's four horsemen of the apocalypse. Yeah. So white is Jesus. Mm-hmm. There's a brown and black. We're missing a horse. The white Why? one is Jesus' horse. We only have three riders of the apocalypse. Well, this is like the apocalypse megazord. That com- those four right there. I think, it, I think if I understood correctly, Jesus rides the white horse. He isn't actually the white horse. So you got the four horses, the yeah. white one being, it's his personal horse. That's his ride. Yeah. But. Do we get the Bible out? Do we have one in the back? <laughs> Wait, hold on. I understand, but there's four horsemen of the apocalypse. Yes. And there's four horsemen. If one of those horses is Jesus. I'm mm-hmm. assuming Jesus isn't one of the horsemen of the apocalypse. He is, according to this. Wait, what? What? I don't Jesus know. is one of the horsemen of the apocalypse? Well, that's blasphemy. Can we? Yeah, just. That would be surprising. Jesus is like, hey, I'm here to end it all. He's like, whoa, Jesus. Well, the apocalypse is the second coming. So, I mean. He'd have to. He's involved in to some capacity. Wait a right? minute. Wait a minute. Ian, you need to clarify for us here what's going on. <laughs> I'm looking now. Because I forgot. I no, read Jesus. The, house, the Bible for dummies should have brought that. That's not right. The four horsemen are from the are sa- they ride for Satan, and it's a war between good and evil. That's Revelation. Okay, so here's from Wikipedia. Okay, thank you, Ian. Though theologians and popular culture differ on the first horseman, the four riders are often seen symbolizing conquest or pestilence, and less frequently, the Christ or the Antichrist, followed by war, famine, and death. 
So it sounds like this is a controversial topic mm. on the on the white horse. Open for interpretation. Yes. Well, I'll be shocked as hell if Jesus rode out with them. It's I'd like, be like, dude, you were fucking a double agent the whole time. Well, or the Antichrist. So maybe it's, you know, it is. <laughs> well, I feel like there should be a big crowbar separation between Christ and the Antichrist. It's, they got to it's vague. They're not going pony back. Little pony, little pony. Little pony back. Little pony lad. Uh, God damn, this is complicated. Well, it's a little bit, it's like the end of The Sopranos, you know, like you, they want to leave it up to the people. Okay. Uh, f- so then again, he's saying, uh, the artists and labels that pump out mainstream music into the world are not governed by God. They are governed by the God of this world, the prince of the power of the air, Satan. He's blatantly mocking Jesus, yet we eat up his music 17 weeks, number one. 4,000 likes on this. <laughs> I think people are just loving it. They know. They know what's up. And then Mason Ramsey tweets this. Giddy out our way. A photo of the four horsemen. Whoa, Mason. Mason comes in. Is and that a, That's a photograph? It's pretty cool. Okay, yeah. well, hold on. Let me... Okay, so yeah, the, there is a white horse, uh, a bowman. I love that the screenshot captured exactly when the likes go up. Yes. There's activity going on. That's also liked by Lil Nas, I can see that's him. Nope. Yeah, he liked one of my tweets recently. He did. What yeah, was your tweet? I said going. He said he was on the toilet and he was. Talking, oh yeah, I, and I saw said, that. You know, going number two while getting number one. Mm. He liked it. Oh, that's a good one. That yeah, was a good one. <laughs> Appreciate that. Thank you guys. <laughs> David jumped in on this receipt. Here is one of your own bearing witness to the words I've spoken. Good night. The Lord does not lie. I know what I discerned. So he's basically correct. He's got the evidence. There it is. And also the likes to back it up. The likes are there. 8,300. Uh, giddy out our way. Damn, that's what, dude. What if, what if that's what the horsemen said when they arrived? Giddy out our way. They did arrive. That's them. Lil Nas and Lil Giddy. That's the remix. The earthquakes are coming back. This all happened during the... <laughs> time of this song cool so i found one other video that i think is basically a if you're not convinced that some devilish trickery is going on by now this will (laughs) confirm it 100 Mm percent it's from uh faithful on youtube um i think he's got a really compelling argument here zero like uh zero (laughs) likes two dislikes 113 views i major hit I think that this is a buried gem. Uh, I just feel like he's on to something here. So he's just posting some things he's noticed with Lil Nas that uh, seem a bit suspicious. He's got a he's got a cross on his ear. He covers one eye. He covers one eye. Okay, sure. Now that's the thing that very a lot of devilish trickery in the Hollywood Hills with that one eye. just touching his chin. What does this mean? Masonic gesture. Mm. Goat? Wait, the goat and the sun. He's used the goat emoji, which <laughs> is uh, a symbol of Baphomet, who's kind of like the satanic figure. He's used the sun emoji as well. <laughs> this one, he didn't really figure out. The he didn't explain that one. Yeah, but <laughs> two out of three is still compelling. That's, that's yeah, that's over 50%. Now he used the OK sign, which is in the shape of a six, which is the devil's number. And uh, But he added, so well, he kind of added extra meaning because there's only one. But then he added. But he couldn't figure out the screenshot. What is it? The, the black bars and the white. What's going yeah, it's on? a little. Well, because that's irrelevant to the <laughs> figuring out the truth, <clears throat> which as long as he demonstrates. And uh, Motherfucker, X refers to Antichrist. Damn, you can't even write in English. Anytime you use an X, you're yeah. referencing the Antichrist. You're supposed to skip that one over. He oh, used, silent. He used this emoji, too, at some point. That is damning. Uh, oh. Occultic skulls. That's true. He's using devil horns right here. That's true. It's all here. These are Masonic tiles. He thought he could sneak by us. Yeah, I've never seen those before. Like, look, right here. I've never seen a checkered flag. Does he think we're all blind and not going to see? This guy's wearing black and white. Mm, that is How is this guy related? <laughs> <laughs> there, 
you know, I think <laughs> the evidence is everywhere. The devil horns. It's here. He's painting a picture for us. The pentagram stars on. It's not really, a pentagram. There's only five. There points. it is. The pentagram. <laughs> oh wait, yeah, it is. There is. Yeah. <laughs> that full, is. Wow. He's got the rose. The rose. Oh, no, I love how detailed the arrows are. Oh, these ones are good. There's a little pentagram star. The owl is the symbol of the Illuminati. Ooh, Drake is fucked. Oh, I thought oh, that yeah, was Ethan Bradbury for that. <laughs> oh, that's very Illuminati. That's a couple of pixels. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so basically, you know, it just keeps going, but you get the gist. Yeah, it's it's damning. The evidence is. If you don't believe it, now look it. Oh, you flip the 99, it's sixes. Six. Duh. But it's only two, it's not three. Well, it's once again, two out of three is a very strong <laughs> argument, in my opinion. Cyberlink by PowerPoint. Yeah. And that's it. All right. Wow. Well, I have to say, is he there's a, a lot to chew on. Yeah. So what do you think? Is, he, uh, is uh, some suspicious activity going on? Some. So if you take, if you take everything um, as a whole. Yes. Yes. The eye covering. What's going on with the yes? Yes. The Bible. What is that? I don't know. You read the Bible and you have a stroke? Why are you <laughs> saying yes like that? Just please continue. <laughs> you have the covering eye. Mm -hmm. Concerning. He's You've got, got two got, eyes. Why cover one? Right. Exactly. Why would you? You've got a jersey that says 99, but when you flip that upside, it says 66. It's not. There's not three. There's two. And you have to flip it upside down. Mm -hmm. Still, I'm concerned about that as well. Yeah, what if he puts it on upside down? Wrong way. Right. Um, you've also got allegations of theft. Uh, in whole, there's a lot to chew on. I'm not sure. The people are going to have to make up their own their own minds on this one, Ian. Just like is was Jesus on the horse? Was yeah. he if one of the horsemen in the apocalypse? That was the other question. You're going to have to make up your mind on that one as well. Because I'm not a theologian, and I, I mean, I couldn't possibly make a distinction there. Uh, yeah, I don't know. But that's it. That's it. So hopefully, uh, Ariana Grande, please break the record. I don't want to hear this song ever again. <laughs> I think you're going to be hearing the song for many more to come. And I don't think this PowerPoint helped either, because I think people are going to go listen. Don't. Don't do it. We got to defeat well, it. Well, Ian, thank you for coming right. out. Thank you. That was great. That was a powerful right, PowerPoint. You. Now we gotta wait ten months for the next one. Yep. <laughs> giddy, giddy the hell out of here! All right. I got the horses in the bath. Uh, Sometimes you can leave your hat on. It's in the bath. Wow. I guess I shouldn't. I'm gonna leave mine on. Fuck okay. That was interesting. Learned a lot. You know. Covered a lot of ground. Mm -hmm. Little Nas exposed. Dan, how long have we been going for? Uh, uh, let's see. Uh, we've been going for Dan, I an hour hear. twenty. Oh, the sound. Go ahead, Dan. Been going for an hour twenty. Oh wow! Should we wrap it? I'm pretty tired. Again, we have so much content <laughs> to get to. Let Let me do these ones. I've got these old stories I've been putting off. Let me just talk about these. Um, and then we can we can get to the rest on Friday. Mm -hmm. uh, this maybe we should just wrap it up. Sure. Wrap it up. <laughs> wrap it up. But that means we've only talked about th three things. That is true. <laughs> That's how we do it, baby. That's how we do it. This is not a podcast. We are under no obligation. That's true. Does being a podcast give us more obligation or less obligation? What is an obligation? I don't know. We have no... I don't know. Let's do this face app craze. Because this is yeah, old fucking news. Yeah, because the story is getting This is really old, old fucking news. No one even cares. Y'all heard... Point. You guys remember the face app craze with the app that made everyone old? Yes. And then there... Well, actually, it turns out the company that made this app is a Russian company. Right. So everyone was getting spooked, like, what are these Russians doing with our faces? Right. Um, first of all, before we get into it, let me show you pictures of all of us. <laughs> let me say of this app, it's so fantastically good. You, will you love me when I'm... I feel like that's a cute guy. Yeah, that's pretty cute. I, I'm down to ride with like that. What age is that, though? That's like 70. 69. Nice. 
Nice. <laughs> yeah, I like it. No, um, please skip the next one. <laughs> Ew, you, uh... Oh, little Theodore got ageified? What did they do? They just added <laughs> hair? <laughs> you can't ageify that face. <laughs> Get out of here with that. When I ran it, it uh, makes you select a face. No. So I selected Ela's, but Gross. it, like, spilled over a little yeah, bit. Yeah, he got a little so. on the forehead. Gross. Ela, I don't know. I'm gonna have nightmares. Well, at 70, that's pretty good, I think. But how is this so good? I don't it's know. crazy. Yours looks like a cute... Old guy. I look old as fuck, though, Eli. I mean, it's not flattering. If you have hair like that mm. when you're old, that's pretty cool. Yeah, my hair's gonna look like that. That's cool. I'm pretty sure. You didn't get any grays. Your hair didn't change at all. <laughs> right. Um, the changing of the hair color is one of the most interesting parts to me because it, I, I think it can, like, detect if you already have a little bit of gray and then it uh, enhances it. You know? It's so good. This is crazy. Ian, that's really I what you're like. I feel like I've seen like. this person before. <laughs> that's what you're going to look like. <laughs> Dan, this is Dan, so insane. Oh my god. Does your dad look like this at all, Dan? Uh, a little bit. <laughs> I lo it looks more like my grandfather, actually. This is r insane. <laughs> How do you guys feel seeing this? Because I feel horrified when I see myself. You know, I get that instinct a little bit, but you got to... But you feel I mean, like everybody fucking gets old. This is well, something every. But I feel like your guys is better. To be fair, yours, yeah, was the least flattering. I mean, I'm not, I'm gonna support. <laughs> you saying Elas is the least flattering? Yes. Yeah. I think mine's the worst. But really? No, it's not. I don't think so. It's definitely not. And that's just, bro. You look like Gandalf. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take that. That's cool. I mean, yours is yours looks. Yeah. I'm gonna. I'm just backing you up. Thank and you. guys, I want you to Thank know you. that I'm supporting Ela because she's like, I look awful, right? And. Not that you, but okay, uh, let's close this. But I mean, just if you examine. <laughs> <laughs> Gross. <laughs> yeah. Doesn't this? Wait, we didn't show Zach. This was actually oh, the best. Oh, where is it? Oh, no. <laughs> that <is> fucked. <laughs> so wait, how does it compare He's to his blocky. dad? Because we actually know what his dad looks like now. Um. They look different. Yeah. But it's so funny. Like they recognize your skin type, and they made them all blotchy. <laughs> Fucking crazy. It added a little bit of gray to his hair. Yeah. Right? Just and a didn't little. didn't do it to Elas, though. Yeah. But for That's me, they went they me. went all out. Right. Well, your That's... your dad has, like, pure white hair. Like but that, how, so. what are they, scanning my DNA? That's what trips <laughs> me out. How does it know that? I love it. Fantastic. Um, Where's my gray hair? Maybe you don't get gray hair. Maybe you end up dying it, and it knew that. <laughs> what? No way. Oh, dying it. I thought you said dying. Oh. <laughs> I'm looking forward to gray hair. So, at any rate, is this app dangerous? Have we fallen prey yet again to Russian antics? The question, Washington Post did an article about it. They said some of the darkest fears of Russian connections, research and technical experts said, are overblown. The photos are stored on conventional servers run by American companies, and no evidence has surfaced that the company has ties to the Russian government. Technical analysis has also found that the app does not, as some rumors stated, swipe a person's entire cache of photos or open their data to unlimited surveillance. Yeah. People started to really freak out. and the, Well, I, I got a little spooked by it. People said that they saw the app upload all their photos to the cloud. Yeah. That's, that's what sparked it all, and that yeah. ended up. That guy deleted that tweet, and right. I don't know if he just made it up or what the fuck. <laughs> <that> was <laughs> made it up. I and mean, here then... it says concerns arose when people started to point out that the app seems to upload all of your photos. Yeah. Wouldn't that take a hell of long? You don't know the difference between one photo and all. Right. I don't like know. when I change phones, it takes like twenty minutes. People also discovered that in the privacy policy page. It makes a vague reference to sharing your data with affiliates. It says, quote, You grant FaceApp a per perpetual, irrevocable, non-exclusive, royalty-free, worldwide, fully paid, transferable, sub-licensable license to use, reproduce, modify, adapt, publish, translate, create derivatives from, distribute, publicly perform, and display your user content and any name, user, or likeness provided in connection with your user content and all media formats, channels, not known or later developed without compensation to you. That's, <laughs> that is spooky. In this world or any other, <laughs> be this a simulation or real, all future simulations, all, <laughs> all realities here 
known as or further discoverable. <laughs> it's like that writing is fucked. But apparently it's kind of boiler. Right. For I, these apps. I felt freaked out when I read it and then yeah. people said it's the same on well, everywhere, like Twitter, YouTube. That's the thing. You read that language of any of these apps and you'll realize that they're mm-hmm. like, We fucking own you. We could sell a t shirt with your face on it. <laughs> I could start Twitter's like, I can make H three merch right now and sell it and be within <laughs> my rights. We use third-party analytic tools to help us measure traffic and usage trends for the service. These tools collect information sent by your device to our service, including the web pages you visit, ads, odds, and other information that assists us in improving the service. Yeah. Truth is that you're going to see this language in way worse on pretty much any app. Mm-hmm. You fucking download a flashlight app. That's like, why all, this whole agree to terms thing is such a, I don't know, it's a, It's not right. It's not right, because I, there's no way that you're going to read it. It's to, uh, right. I don't know, there's no way that you can not get those apps. I mean, you need Twitter and you need all this stuff today. You're kind of choosing to not be part of society if you're not participating in all this stuff. I think that's a great point, and I think there's going to be a point where... We as consumers can say, look, this agreement is not binding because Mm -hmm. you have to reasonably assume it's unreasonable to assume that people are going to read this. You're giving Mm -hmm. common people without a law background a hundred page contract without access to a lawyer. You cannot you. It should be that if you have terms and service, it can fit on one page and it's in plain language. That would be cool. That's what it should be. You know, I mean, enough with this with this law talk. It's indecipherable to people without a law degree. And we use so many apps. Can you imagine reading it for each one? I don't want to know. At this point, I don't want to know. I don't want to read it. I swear to God, I'm not even kidding. I download a flashlight app. And I'm like, oh. It wants to make calls. It wants to read my contacts. It wants to see my photos. It's like it's a fucking flashlight <laughs> app. I don't want to even know at this point. Mm-hmm. You can send flashlight app to see your nude photos and upload <laughs> them to revengeporn.com. Oh, wow. All right. Agreed. <laughs> Yeah, I think I think it speaks to a bigger problem with these apps. That's exactly right, Ela. Wow. <laughs> Should we keep going? Let's just bang these out. Let's bang it out. Ice cream challenge. Y'all heard about these bright-eyed fucking idiots? <laughs> the ice cream challenge, man. So this was a challenge, apparently, and you guys are gonna love this, <laughs> where you go into a grocery store, lick. Ice cream. Take the top off. You lick the ice cream. You put it back. Let's ice watch cream. It again? It's the ice cream challenge. This has 13 million views. Holy Whoa. fuck! Lick it, lick it. Oh, you foul! Put it back. Put it back. Put it back. Put it back. Oh, this guy's you, getting off. You a whole nigga. Oh my god. Lick it, lick it, lick it. Oh, you foul! Put it back. 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 That girl oh, looks way too fucking you, old to be doing. You a whole nigga. <laughs> So, uh, anyway, they, she's oh, 17. Oh, she's 17. I, I mean, yeah, you do. Unfortunately, you do stupid, you shit. Do stupid shit at that age. But, yep. dude, they posted it online and everyone's like, oh, yeah, it's been seen by 13 million people. They're like, oh, yeah, I know who that girl is. <laughs> right. You know? And f- I don't know, for some reason, this just went huge. Like, it's disgusting, but I think it went bigger than I would expect. Mm hmm. Um, but I was immediately wondering how come it's got no top. The ice cream. Some package. ice cream doesn't have top. I, mean. I guess I didn't. For some reason, I thought they all had like a seal. Hmm. They've got some uh, advanced techniques. Uh, they basically vacuum seal it, and so you can tell if it's been opened or not because the top will be like slightly popped out. Apparently. Still seems stupid. Just fucking seal it for real. Like when she put it back, do you think you could tell? I don't think so. I bet I someone bought that. Yeah. Yeah, I bet someone bought that. That girl didn't look clean either. Well, 
She looked like any other person, but. Does herpes survive in a <laughs> freezer? Or, well, sorry, Dan. I mean, like, uh, hepatitis, let's say. That's a more rare disease. Hepatitis B. No one? Aaron? You're asking if it survives <laughs> in yeah. a freezer? You know I mean, that? probably, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, Inside Edition did a, did a news story about it. I mean, dude, this, this, so this story nasty. has legs. A young woman is seen so on video licking nasty. a container of ice cream and putting it back in the store freezer. Lick it. Oh, you foul. Put it back. Put it back. Put it back. The video of the woman who dared to lick the ice cream has been viewed more than 10 million times. What kind of How psychopathic this make behavior the news, is this, man. wrote one person. I'm disgusted. This should be a criminal charge, posted another. Wow. The ice cream in question is Bluebell. In a statement, the company said this type of incident will not be tolerated. What are you going to do about it? You're the ice cream company. Law enforcement to find the I love that Bluebell's Tampering on it. with food like this could lead to a felony charge. Oof. Some Twitter users claim they've identified the woman as coming from San Antonio, Texas. Oh, look Bluebell at her. They got her good. Bluebell is a popular brand sold mainly in the South. Inside edition producer Alicia Oh yeah, this is my favorite shot. This is why I watch this video. She's like, you don't believe me? Here's Here me I walking am. down the aisle in a grocery store. And ice cream Inside is real. Look at this. Powers Let me show you. And found the God, that the shot woman rules. Is there is ice cream. That shot fucking made this story. <laughs> <laughs> Inside Edition, you don't believe me? Here I am, bitch. Question me now. Inside Edition producer Look at her go. Powers is in Louisiana She's probably and found freezing the the woman is on that aisle. She Tim found the flavor. <sighs> now this is investigative journalism. <laughs> Hard hitting. Oof. Once you remove the lid, tin the roof. ice cream is exposed. Bluebell explains, what is during production, roof? our half gallons are flipped upside down and sent to a hardening room. You where know, the ice I'm cream with you. Just cover the it. Lid, creating a natural seal. Just cover the it. The lids are frozen tightly to the carton. Any attempt at opening the product should be noticeable. Noticeable. Other ice creams do have a plastic noticeable seal. This is container not of haagen -Dazs, one right there. <laughs> Oh shit, what did I click? Total oh, chaos. Okay. Total let, chaos. Let, no. so <laughs> what the fuck? All of a sudden I'm watching some stupid video about ice cream and then all of a sudden it's a shooting in Gilroy. Oh what? Yeah. Really? What the hell? Yeah. What the fuck is right? YouTube, shut the fuck up. If YouTube Oh my god. How to survive a shooting at a festival. What? Let's just That's a video? How to survive a shooting? At a festival. Let's stick to the fucking ice cream story. <laughs> That's a far cry away. I'm trying to have a good time here. How to survive a shooting and just like a... I imagine the same woman... Shooting tutorial. I imagine the same wood woman cruising through, <laughs> through a festival. How to survive <laughs> in the same outfit. What? Chill out, Inside Edition. Total chaos. That's How to survive... If you enjoy that story, you're definitely going to enjoy How to Survive a Shooting. <laughs> Fuck you. What is going on with this country? That there's Preach. now tutorials about how to survive a shooting. Preach it, sister. I thought I came to the safe America from Israel. Mm -hmm. And now there's t shooting tutorials here. It's actually a hot vid. They put it at the end because people are like, oh yeah. I do need to know how to survive a shooting. I'll tell you how to survive a shooting. Run. That's it. Just run. Right? I mean, this there's not much. This topic is upsetting. There is no surviving. It's a, just die. You can't do anything. What can you do? Yeah, what you is, just pray. I mean, you just, You just yeah. pray to there's, nobody. There's a, there's a maniac spraying bullets, so I don't need a fucking YouTube tutorial. Here, here, uh, here is the first tip. Pray to God. Ask the Lord above to, uh, hopefully that you're more righteous than the people around you. I love to see some preacher, like, God will choose. God will decide. He will know if you're more righteous. He will protect you. If you make a sizable donation, God will know. Anyway, my intention was not to talk about this. Um, but here, here's okay, where it yeah, gets you, good. We were talking about how... So the Bluebell company, they said 
It should be noticeable if someone opened it. That is not enough. Look, the top's on. You're going in. You're buying. You're getting ice cream. Although, to, in their defense, why should they have to anticipate people licking it and putting it back? I mean, I don't know. It's just this people crazy are girl. Weird. People are crazy. Okay, put a top on it then. Elo has. Why is anything sealed that you buy? I guess cereal. Why is it sealed? So it doesn't get stale. Well, <laughs> I don't know. Is that good enough? It's okay. <laughs> I feel like that's good enough. Um, police ended up not charging the girl because as an adult. She's 17. As an adult. I, find, I always find it strange when they charge juveniles as adults. It's like that's the whole point of the law. They're children. Mm -hmm. I'm going <laughs> to try know. you as an adult. You're 16 and now... I'm pissed, so I'm gonna try it as an adult. It's like, well, he's 16. <laughs> That's the whole point. Sometimes there's a heinous enough crime, mm. but still, well, if a 16 year old murders like five people, mm -hmm. they don't want to be like, well, I'm, 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 I want you away forever. Yeah, I get that. So of course we have copycats. <laughs> this is so. This girl was 17. This next guy is a grown ass man. Um, and it has a happy ending too, so don't so don't get too concerned. But look at this winner. He looks like he's got kids too, man. There's like a kid walking by. Oh my god, homie. Oh what? You really gotta fucking you check had your to life do out. With the finger too. Dude, you are so dumb. Imagine being a grown man. So, by the way, do you see the lid? I promise you, that looks perfectly new when you put it back on. Yeah, there's no vacuum. Ian, or Dan, can you get me some Tums? I'm experiencing heartburn. I don't know why. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> Maybe it's the cowboy hat. Give me indigestion. So this guy looks like he's 40. Thank you. This guy's part of me. Part of me, partner. While I <laughs> got these anti-acids. I don't miss having that, you know? I was having it, especially towards the last month of the pregnancy. Mm, it was like, yeah, you were really suffering, by the way, that when you were pregnant. Such an awful feeling. But, um, this guy's like forty, and the best part, like I said, there's a happy ending. Authorities have located this man in Louisiana <laughs> after he posted a video of himself <laughs> licking ice cream and poking it and putting it back. Martin returned to Big B's to meet the police. He he showed a receipt alleging he had purchased the ice cream. He said he didn't think he was doing anything wrong. <laughs> he explained to us that he wanted to be famous and he didn't think it was a problem. He was arrested on a felony charge. I don't think he actually bought it. I think he was charged. He was arrested. Oh, get a load of this guy's face. If anyone's gonna lick ice cream and put it back, here's your boy. You wanted to be famous. You're famous? I mean, well, this is as close as you're gonna get right here, right now. <laughs> what? How is licking ice cream gonna make you famous? <laughs> well, go rob a bank or something. I don't know. Um, he was charged with criminal mischief. That's, isn't that kind of the coolest charge ever? Criminal mischief. <laughs> you know, no good. <laughs> For tampering with a product before he purchased it, an unlawful posting of criminal activity. For notoriety and publicity. Mmm. It went down hard. They threw the book at him. Criminal mischief. We're moving right along here. Uh, whoopsie Daisy. <laughs> Whoopi Goldberg, also known as Whoopsie Doopsie. <laughs> From Tim and Have Ted. you ever known anyone named Whoopsie or Whoopi? No. Is that a real name, Whoopi? Because you also know Whoopi means sex, like making Whoopi. Oh, really? It's like an old timey. Is that a real name, Whoopi Goldberg? That's such a, a bizarre name. When I never thought about. I don't it. think that's her real name. It is. It's her real name. Or wait, no, no it's, it's Karen. It's, it's Karen. Yeah, it's Karen. Wow. <laughs> yeah, Karen's boring. Whoopi. <laughs> Whoopsie doopsie. Yeah, there was a sketch in Tim and Eric where they called her uh, Whoopsie, Whoopsie Goldberg. Yeah, and then she would trip <laughs> and they would go, Whoopsie Daisy. <laughs> so forevermore, I call her Whoopsie. Whoopsie Goldberg. Also, Goldberg's like a Jewish name. How, like, that's just Whoopsie Goldberg. 
<laughs> Her real name is Car- Karen Johnson. Really? How'd you get from Karen Johnson to Whoopsie Goldberg? Huh. That's a hell of a stage name. Damn. Do people still do stage name, or is that an old thing? I think so. They do you, still do. Do you think she would have ever been famous if her name was Karen Johnson? Think about it. I don't. Karen mm-hmm. Johnson sounds like a lawyer. Whoopsie Goldberg. I feel appropriated. Like, is that cultural appropriation for her to be named Goldberg? Because <laughs> that's a Jewish as it gets name. Karen anyway, Johnson is like she's not getting any a guys. nurse yeah. or a lawyer. I don't know. She's, so Bella Thorne, <laughs> you guys know, uh, as a model. Um, she is, here. Let me pull up some pictures here. I think there's been a meme ar- about Me- Bella Thorne for a long time of like, when's she gonna do nudes? People always say that because she does wear very. Provoc- she 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 posts a lot of provocative pictures of herself on Instagram and stuff, but you know, she's a young girl and she's attractive and she's fit. So she you know, she she's a model, you know. Um it happened recently that a hacker got a hold of some nude photographs that were on her phone, similar to the eye hack that's been happening to celebrities. And she decided to release them herself on her Twitter account. Basically to take the power away from this hacker that was trying to blackmail her, saying like, hey, pay me the money or I'm going to post your notes. So she mm-hmm. said, fuck you, I'll post them myself. Um, here's her statement. She said... I guess we can't... Clearly we can't show it. No, but you can use your imagination. The tweet... Should we read the tweet? Or was it just... Was well, that just... a statement. It? Okay. She... I mean, she just... I think this was part of it. She just okay. posted... It was like her topless. And this... Right. I yeah. think that was part of the tweet. Um, it's up on her Twitter still. So if you want to, you know, see some titties, they're there. <laughs> she said, Yesterday, as you all know, all my shit was hacked. For the last 24 hours, I've been threatened with my own nudes. I feel gross. I feel watched. I feel someone has taken something from me that I only wanted one special person to see. He has sent me multiple nude photos of other celebs. He won't stop with me or them. He will just keep going. For too long, I let a man take advantage of me over and over, and I'm fucking sick of it. I'm putting this out because it's my decision now. You don't get to take yet another thing from me. I can sleep tonight better knowing I took my power back. You can't control my life. You never will. Here's the photo he's been threatening me with. In other words, here's my boobies. So here, fuck you, and the last 24 hours I've been crying instead of celebrating my book while doing my book press. Oh yeah, the FBI will be at your house shortly, so watch your back. Watch your motherfucking back. Mm-hmm. Which is true, by the way. The last guy that hacked was, he was the fappening. Yeah, the FBI got him good. So don't, I would not be fucking around, mm-hmm. even if you got these, man. Yeah. Don't do that shit. You will go to jail. That's a guarantee. You will eventually go to jail. The FBI, man, they don't fuck around. They'll find you. Um, so anyway, well, anyway, the controversy with Whoopsie Daisy comes up. What did you think about her move? I think it's great. I, I mean, so what else too. can you do? Right. I mean, it's part, it's I think she did a great thing. I think it was very I'm smart sure she and felt awful <laughs> with either one of her options, you know. It was she probably didn't want to post it, but Look, I think what she did was was uh, was a great move. Yeah. Um, you know, fuck that guy. And she did take the power away because, yeah. like, okay, well, fuck Just off now. Fuck you. What you have is worthless. Yeah. So. Yeah, I I think it's smart. I I support it. I mean, it's a shitty situation to be in. Yeah. But. Like she said, she was a prisoner to this creep that kept texting her. That's just a nightmare. Like, ugh, someone has your phone number, their text. I've been in that situation before. They didn't even have my pictures of me or anything, but just someone who has got your number and they're texting you and stuff, it's just so, just it feels so, so violating. Right, just what I was going to say. But on top of that, to have your nude photos and be, oh I mean, God. that's just disgusting. 
So, so you know, props to her. I think it's a. I think she handled it well. <coughs> I don't know much about her backstory, but I don't know. Apparently, she's been through a lot. I don't. I don't know what. She referenced someone else, some other right. relationship. I also I don't, don't know. know but. So whoopsie doopsie makes what is, in my opinion, a whoopsie daisy. <laughs> and on The View, which is one of the dumbest shows of all time, which a bunch of out of touch <laughs> old women <laughs> argue about God knows what. They're all obnoxious. They're all intolerable. It's, it's the trashiest show on television. And that's coming from a guy who cannot wait to watch The Bachelorette tonight. <laughs> so here's a clip of what Whoopsie Doopsie had Access to say on this. Lauren's phone was recently hacked and blackmailers threatened to release nude photos of her if she didn't pay up. So she posted she's a lengthy a note on Twitter tonight. about how she's taking back her power by releasing the photos herself. Is this the way to do it? Let's see. Whoopsie Daisy oh, used to be a comedian. She's now she's on The View. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what the hell happened to her? Sorry, what'd they say that was so hilarious? I was busy interrupting. <laughs> Taking back her power by releasing the photos herself. Is this the way to do it? Let's see. Oh. That's oh, not... she's fully clothed here. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's a joke. Yeah, dumbass. I saw the picture of her nude. Almost <laughs> nude or whatever. I, I, I have to be honest. If I, if I had that body, I'd post them at the food emporium. <laughs> that's not the point. That is so not the point. That's like, why funny. is she wearing sunglasses? Probably because she's got fucking cataracts because she's 80. Oh, okay. <laughs> but this is almost like if a guy said that, it would be so sexist. It would. That they would be talking about it on this show, about how sexist it is of guys. Yeah. That's not the point. I mean, dude, <laughs> it, hello. It would, if a guy said that, his career would be over. Yeah. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Pretty amazing how a show of but, women are so <laughs> insensitive. Yeah. yeah. They're clapping. Goes, she's too young. She's they love 20. that. They love that. <laughs> they love that joke. <laughs> Round of applause. <laughs> this is a segment on the show called Hot Topics. You can see in the bottom left. Ay, ay, ay. She's wearing Gucci sunglasses too, by the way. <laughs> What a nightmare. One, I That's just, exactly <laughs> the age when you look the best. <laughs> I just, it just saddens me that, that these kids, um, that they have to go through this. I guess it's the age of, of social media. But, to, you know, for someone to sort of extort her and threaten her yeah. with posting these, these pictures, I just, you know, I, it... it I, it's terrible. She's crawling out of her skin. I, I do, Whoopi. I just feel that if you don't put them, if you don't take them and put them in, listen, if you're famous, I don't care how old you are, you don't take nude pictures of but yourself because... But she only because, wants to share with one person. But she should... Listen, when they're hacking you, they're hacking all of your stuff. So whether it's one picture or a million pictures, once you take that picture, yeah. it goes into the cloud, and it's available to any hacker who wants it. And if you don't know that in 2019, mm. that this is an issue... You, you, I'm sorry, your age does not, you don't get to do that. She's like angry. You don't get to do it. Why not just make a hard copy and put... Okay, whoopsie. You don't get, why is she angry, first why of all? Why is she so angry about that instead of being <laughs> angry about the person that put it up or that was dis extorting her? Right. But also, also, Belle never said, she never complained about, like, oh, I can't. She was, sp I can't take nude photos. She was simply saying, this guy is blackmailing me. He's mm -hmm. trying to have power over me, and I'm trying to take it back. Yeah. But regardless, her point is that if you're famous, or even really, she kind of even says, if you have nude photos at all, yeah. uh, you're, you're not entitled to any privacy because it's 2019. Yeah. I mean, this is one stupid fucking sick dude that probably fished her or something in an email scam. And and somehow whoopsie daisy has made it Bell's fault. fault. Yeah. I mean it's it's it's, it's such an awful take and it's so weird on a show like this, you would think they would be a little more understanding towards her. I don't know. I just find it so well, weird that the they're one girl so angry. Is, why don't why is she so angry? She's like pissed off about it. The other girl was like got railroaded who was trying to defend her, but her tone is like when they're hacking you, 
Like they're hacking all of your stuff. So whoopsie whether it's daisy, one the IT picture, expert. I know. Pictures. What the fuck do you know when about you technology? When you pick a picture, it's on the cloud. Yeah. I if, don't know that it's exactly like that. She doesn't know anything. All that happened is that it, people are getting in through phishing scams. They send you an email. That looks like a yeah. Google email. I get those Facebook. emails all the fucking yeah. time. They're, if you don't know much or if maybe you're just not paying attention that day, it's easy. Yeah. You log in and then they just keep your shit. Whoopsie Daisy's probably done that ten times, but nobody wants to see her shit. Can you imagine a nude of Whoopsie Daisy? That's why she's so pissed. <laughs> God, you she probably looks like a... You probably couldn't even tell where her tits start or end. Do you know what I'm saying, Gil? Mm-mm. <laughs> Once you take that picture, yeah. it goes into the cloud, and it's available okay. to any hacker who wants it. And if you don't know that in 2019, mm. that this is Why an are issue, you so angry at her? You, you, I'm sorry. The, Your the age funny does thing not, is that I know... You don't get to do that. But why I feel like I know what she's trying to say, you know? But that is such a such an awful take to say and like on television where you have you have actual influence over people mm -hmm. i don't know well sure I, I understand what she's trying to say is like if you take nude photos and especially if you're a celebrity in this day and age yes. you got to be careful yes but again bell's not even complaining about that she's simply talking about one guy yeah so she's she's missing the point and blaming her for but i mean she's entitled to her privacy she's still a human being i mm -hmm. mean you know what the fuck you why don't just, get to do why it. not just make a hard copy and put it in a frame and send it why does it have to be out there like that because i don't understand I that well the problem, like with the, the, hard, the problem with the hard copy yeah. is that the person who has uh made the picture appear on your thing yeah. also has a copy but she's so, not to blame oh. it's the guy that's genius. very wait are you guys serious her. wait what that was genius were they serious She's like, why don't you just put it in a frame? And I was like, oh, it's a stupid joke. And then whoopsie goes. She takes it, she takes seriously. it seriously. But then the other lady goes, oh, I see. Yeah. Who watches this? Put your out of touch old lady. And then this is John McCain's daughter, I learned, who is the conservative voice. And when they start talking politics, man, you want to fucking put your head through the wall. <laughs> It's She's just great. Yes, it's very, yes. very yes. common. It's very common for people to take nude photos. Yes. It's very common to receive them. Back when I was dating, I used to get it all the time. Right. I will say, Rihanna said in 2009, because she had le leaked photos, uh -huh. she said, they were from my boyfriend at the time. Uh -huh. If you don't send your boyfriend naked pictures, then I feel bad for him. Now, I will say, Can I never did it. Wait, my, that again? She said, if you, if yeah. you don't if you send you your don't. boyfriend... Okay, whatever, then... <laughs> what are you... What, 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 these women are the worst. I don't even know. <laughs> They've completely moved on to. I gotta finish this. Naked Where are they going? With I, feel bad for bad for I will say the only reason why I didn't <laughs> is because my family was in politics. That's it. I know the oh, temptation. I, again, you gotta be comfortable with it being. I just assume everything I send is screenshot well, and sent everywhere. Yes. But I will say. Yes. We are gonna have a president. Her voice still <laughs> Yes. <laughs> it's just the air we're looking well, at. This, this, this is fine. Well, no. Maybe oh, we do. Is, I, yes. I mean, it's probably <laughs> fine. But you cannot be surprised that someone is happy. She's not surprised. Especially if she doesn't like being blackmailed. Whoopsie doopsie daisy floopsie. <laughs> I don't like that take. And she's so angry. Whoopie. Yeah. Whoopie cushion Goldberg. <laughs> anyway, my my heart. My heart goes out to Belle, who bravely posted. Bella. 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 See, I'm confused with the whole. You got Belle Delphine. Bella. Yeah, why, why can't we get it straight on the pronunciation? <laughs> I don't know. You know? Um, whoopsie doopsie daisy. And then Bella got upset. Oh, the spelling is different. Well, here. Well, well, one, hold on. They're spelled two ways here in the doc. One's B-E-L-L-E -L -L -E and one's B-E-L-L-A. It's it's Bella, with an A. Yes. Oh well, that explains why. It's Whoever did now. that is fired. What an idiot. So here she responds, and she's very upset. I'm not gonna lie. I I want to say that I feel pretty disgusting. You know, I feel pretty disgusting. Whoopi, knowing everyone's seen like, you know, my shit, and um, and I just want to say that me watching this interview made me feel really bad about myself, and and I hope you're happy. I, I really do. I really hope. You're so fucking happy because I can only imagine all of the kids who have. She's, it's hard yeah. to watch. Right? Yeah. She's very upset. Um, 
But I agree. If I was her, I would, I would feel this because she's mm-hmm. she's so angry, and so much anger towards her. Well, and she's, no, she's the victim in this yeah, situation. No and let's scorn. not forget that. I don't know why she was so yeah, yeah. angry at her. And Whoopsie Daisy has not made a a uh, whoopology, <laughs> which is a whoop uh, apology issued by Whoopsie. I can't get over her name, Whoopi. Whoopsie doopsie. Should I, I, I mean, it's just this. She's very... Yeah, I don't think we need to watch yeah. it. She cries, and you can imagine. Um, there you have it. So I have seen her boobs. Um, as, have you seen her boobs? Mm-hmm. Yeah. They're out there. It's weird, to because I feel bad that it's up there, but also at the same time, it's like, whatever. Yeah, it's boobs, you know? Just... Yeah, I mean, right. Exactly. Right, Ian? Yeah, Ian, right? Uh, yeah. Wasn't there another story I wanted to wrap up? We got Whoopsie Daisy. We got the Ice Cream Challenge. Oh, no, we did it all in the face craze. There you go. We're on fire. So we got a lot of... This Friday, we're going to be in deep. We're going to really... Friday, we're going in. All business. <laughs> going to clear the stock out. That's what you said last Friday. Yeah. People were calling us out. Were they? Yeah, a little bit. Well, <sighs> like I thought you said all business. Yeah. This on Friday, it's all business. We're going to be calling it the all business <laughs> cast. Everyone have fun today? Was it a good show? It's pretty good. I enjoyed that presentation. Thank you very Ian much. Brought to us. No, I'm, I'm thinking. Yeah. Thank <laughs> you, Dan, for the compliment. <laughs> I got the horses in the back. <laughs> so I'm going back come back. All right, well, that's it. We'll be back on Friday with that's another it. episode All of right. the H3 Not a Podcast podcast. H3 Experience, H3 Show, H3... Do we need to rebrand? Yes, there's a huge podcast behind me. We just realized we're not a podcast. <laughs> I got the words in them, man. All right. Guys, hope you have a terrific week. Get out there. Keep your heads up. Keep shaking your dicks. Just grind through it. Get through it. You know, stay up positive. Just fucking get it done. Get what, do what's got to get doing. And we're going to be back on Friday to have more laughs and more gas to usher in the weekend where we all get to put our feet up and enjoy because life's a beautiful thing. It's hard work sometimes. It's tough work sometimes. But eventually there will always come the day where you're going to have a good day and you're going to get to put your feet up. And you're going to be happy that you did all that work because now you're satisfied because you know you're a productive member of society and your feet up knowing that you had a huge productive day and that, you know what, life ain't so bad. Right, Elo? Amen. Amen, brother. So uh, we will see you guys on Friday, and uh, we just, you know, we're just so appreciative, you know. <laughs> it's just so great <laughs> that uh, you're all here. And for those reasons, I'm out. And for those reasons, I'm out. Oh, you kidding? You can end it. Bye, everybody. And for those reasons, I'm out.